Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Watch out, Lil Summer. <laughs> Top five answers on the board. Name something a department store Santa might hate about his job. The little kid peeing on his lap. The little kid peeing on his lap? What is you with the peeing stuff? The little kid peeing on the Santa's lap. You control it, pass or play. They're gonna play. They're gonna play. Go over there and get ready, Jessica. Katie? Yep. Give me something the department store Santa might hate about his job. Hmm, maybe he dislikes the parents. Good answer. Nagging. Good answer. Don't like the parents. Oh, wow, this, this guy. So far, he hates the kids <laughs> and he hates the parents. Why is he the Santa? <laughs> Why did he go down there and sign up? This is, this is crazy. <laughs> hey, Annie, what do you think? Give me something the department store Santa might hate about his job. I'm thinking he's gonna hate the hot, itchy beard. The hot, nice itchy beard! beard. <laughs> hates the costume. This Woo! is an unhappy guy right here. <laughs> Jeannie, come on, just kill all the kids' dreams for Christmas. <laughs> what does department store Santa really hate? Probably the lack of money he's getting. Not much of a salary. Not much of a salary, the lack of money. Uh, I don't know. Thought it was a good answer, though. Thank you. But that much hate up there, you gotta give me something. <laughs> Meg, what do you think of this? Give me something department store Santa might hate about this job. I think the light flashing his face from the camera. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The light flashing yeah. camera's photo. Oh. Wow, that's strike two. Hey, Marshalls, uh, get Take ready. This could be your chance right here. Maybe all the noise. All the, all noise, the noise in the mall and all the people. All of the noise yeah. Yeah. in the mall. Yeah. The noise. <laughs> Oh, we got a chance to steal it, Marshall. He hates those long hours. And he hates here second we pictures. Here we go. All right, here we go. Okay. Here we go. Angela, name something the department store center might hate about his job. I would say the long hours. Good answer. Good answer. Your answer's perfectly fine with me. It's the way you stare at me when you give it. <laughs> For the love of God, it has to be up there. <laughs> the long hours. <laughs> Hates the hours. <laughs> Give me number five. <laughs> Hates city. In this bad economy, what might Santa Claus have to do to one of his reindeers? <laughs> Wanda? Um, hire more reindeers? <laughs> We're gonna bring in more reindeers. <laughs> Shelby. I'm gonna say he may have to lay one of his reindeers off. Might have to lay one yes. of them off. Yeah. <laughs> Shelby, what do you wanna do? They're gonna We're play. Gonna play. <laughs> Michael, how you doing, man? We're good, how are you? In this bad economy, what might Santa Claus have to do to one of his reindeers? Eat one. <laughs> Stop high-fiving him. <laughs> Eating a damn reindeer. <laughs> he was set up in here and cooked and barbecued the <laughs> reindeer and blitzing just on there, just on low roast. Y'all just cooking. Blitzer dancer over there, nervous. Prancer urinating in the hay. Damn reindeers don't know what to do. Santa Claus and laid us off, now he's cooking one of us. Oh, God, you got little deer poop all over the yard. Oh, God, is it me? <laughs> Big fat Santa's cooking, eating one of the reindeers. How you doing? Oh, fine, and I you? I like that. I see you, girl. Go on, make it work. <laughs> All righty. What do you do, Freddie? I'm a loving and devoted wife of 37 years. Right, baby? Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> and Curtis answered the right. right question.
question properly. <laughs> right. You turn right, right, baby. Curtis say, right. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ask me nothing else. I'm just here. Freddie? He might have to give him one or two days off extra. Give him some days off yeah. extra. Yeah. All right. Get give him some right. extra days right. off. I don't know why I feel this way, but this is who I've been waiting to talk to. <laughs> Party, you know oh. Bob, you ain't just like my uncle. <laughs> yep. My uncle had that same shirt and tie. <laughs> when I saw you, Curtis, I said, I have got to go down here and talk to this dude, because where you found this, I'm saying you shop wherever my uncle shop. Yeah. <laughs> the cuffs yes. is the same as the collar. Coordinate, not coordinate, <laughs> coordinate with the tie. <laughs> Boy, uh, I've been waiting for my man right here, man. Curtis, my uncle, in this bad economy, what might Santa Claus have to do to one of his reindeer? Three seconds. Uh... Oh. Oh. Well, guess what? We only got one strike. All right. British, you're the leader here. Start riding it. Just one. Riding a reindeer. <laughs> Just start riding a reindeer. <laughs> this family, man. <laughs> Let's start riding them now. <laughs> Shelby, it's up to you. You've got two strikes. If it's there, you clear the board. Feed them less. Ah, Feed right. them right. less. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Feed them less. Cabreras, you're coming out of the huddle. This is your chance. In this bad economy, what might Santa Claus have to do to one of his reindeer? Sell him. Might have to sell him. <laughs> might have to sell him. <laughs> Name something a child might have to dress up as for the Christmas play. Uh, Tin Man. I, I, okay, now when I, when I do this first, <laughs> I, I don't don't take offense to it, but I'm gonna cocoa butt you dead in your head, okay? <laughs> I said, name something a child might have to dress up as for the Christmas play. You said. The survey said. Number one answer was an angel. Pastor, 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 pastor. Always wanted to say that. That's yeah. how that is happening right here. Let's go. Oh, we got the top six answers on the board. What do you do with the holiday fruitcake someone gives you? Randy? You throw it away. You throw it away. Wow. Real good. People at the church find that out, Pastor. <laughs> Pastor's been throwing away the fruitcake. What do you do, Tony? I'm going to say give it as a gift. You give it as a gift. Yes. Give it as a gift. We're going to play? They're going to play it, Tony. Holly? What do you do with the holiday fruit cake that someone gives you? You feed it to the dogs. <laughs> you feed the fruit cake to the dogs. Man. <laughs> Katie, what do you do with the fruit cake, holiday fruit cake someone gives you? You eat it. You eat it? Yeah. 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 You yeah. eat it. Yeah. Dustin, what do you do with the holiday fruitcake people give you? Tell them you don't want it. Tell them oh. you don't want it. Yeah. The fruitcake sucks. You just gotta <laughs> tell them that. Sucks. <laughs> Into the mic, though? That's what... Okay, well, let's go. Nice Christian family wants to <laughs> tell them to pack the soup, pack it. Let's go. Donna, Mom, you've gotten a lot of these over the years. What do you do with the holiday fruitcake someone gives you? Okay. I put it in the trash. That's 
Okay. Put it in trash. Yeah, so. Okay. Oh. It's only two strikes, Randy. You can okay. save the day if it's there. You're still alive. If it's not there, Thomas family, get ready to steal. Let's freeze it and save it for later. Freeze it. Freeze it. <laughs> One answer left, Holly. Two strikes. If it's there, you clear the board. If not, Thomas family, they're swaying. That's a... <laughs> you all do that at Charles Church? <laughs> yeah. When the music's good, we do. Let's go. Let's get on in it now. Hey, hey. Yeah, that's the church there. Hey. Uh, uh. I got to go to that church. They jammed it, I'm telling you. Yeah. Holly? Um, hide it. Hide it. Hide it. Hide it. Thomas family. Coleman, you've been over there putting the work in. Let's the have it. In. What do you do with the holiday fruitcake someone gives you? We're going to say nothing, Steve. You don't do nothing. <laughs> <laughs> nothing. <laughs> Number four. Thank you. Wow. Yep. Real obvious when you see it. Name something a department store Santa hopes a kid doesn't do while on his way. Skip. Go to the bathroom. Go to the bathroom. <laughs> Pass the play. play Steve. They're gonna play. <laughs> David. <laughs> Name something the department store Santa hopes a kid doesn't do while he's on his lap. I'm going to say cry. Hope she doesn't cry. Yeah. <laughs> Yvonne, Mom, what do you think it is? Pull off his beard. Pull off, <laughs> pull off his beard. <laughs> Get yours, girl. <laughs> Steven, what do you think it is? Something Santa hopes a kid doesn't do while he's on his lap. Puke on him. Puke? <laughs> no one. Uh, We're rolling. Only one answer left. No strikes, Andrea. I'm going to say sneeze. Sneeze. <laughs> sneeze. Oh. Only one strike. Skip. Santa hopes a kid doesn't do while he's on his lap. Uh, reach into his crutch. <laughs> If I was saying I wouldn't want that to happen. Well, you know, for that to happen, this has really just got to be... Well, I'm through telling you what I want. <laughs> hey, hey, fill it up. And I better get everything on the list, too. You better deliver the bike on time. <laughs> Pull on this crouch. <laughs> David, you got two strikes. If it's there, you clear the board. If not, Allen family get ready to steal. I'm going to say recognize him. Hope he doesn't hey. recognize <laughs> him. <laughs> well, you know, every time I come over here, you're down to it. So let's see what you got. Give me something in department store center. Hopes a kid doesn't do while he's on his lap, David. Steve, we're going to say fight him. Fight him. We're going to say fight him. Number five. Two. Two. Name something you see that always puts you in the Christmas spirit. Kristen. Lights. Lights. Yeah. I see you, Pass the play. play. They're going to play. On the play, boy. He won't see when you do it right, you say well. <laughs> Tony, let's, let's go, man. Name something you see that always puts you in the Christmas spirit. Let's go with Santa Claus. Santa Claus, yeah, man. Aaron? Uh, I'm gonna say the falling snow. The yeah. falling yeah. snow. Archie, name something you see that always puts you in the Christmas spirit. The nativity scene. The nativity yeah. scene. Yeah. Yeah. Good answer, good answer. Patricia, name something you see that always puts you in the Christmas spirit. Christmas music. Christmas music. Yeah. 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 
Kristen, name something you, you see that always puts you in the Christmas spirit. Presents. Presents? Yes. Yes. Presents. Yeah. Only one answer Ooh. left, Tony. Happy children. Happy, Happy children. children. Yeah, man. Only one strike, Aaron. Uh, the the donate the donator people. The ching 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 donator people. <laughs> What's their name? The donator people. Yeah. Outside the grocery store. No, that's cool. I'm mm-hmm. just trying to go. The, the people that, that ring the bell and mm-hmm. stuff. With the little red you... bucket. Oh, yeah, that's great. Donator that's people. Oh, yeah. The donator peoples. <laughs> You've got two strikes. Beagle family, get ready to steal. Let's try Christmas cards. Yeah. Christmas yeah. cards. <laughs> My favorite part of the show. Okay. Janice, I know. Here we go. Here we go. Name something that you see. <laughs> Always put you in the Christmas spirit. We're going to say candy canes. <laughs> candy canes! <laughs> Name a holiday that occurs in the fall. Thanksgiving. Try again. Christmas. You need two points. Name a holiday that occurs in the fall. Man, (laughs) come on, man. I sure hope just a couple of people went with you on that. (laughs) You said Christmas. Survey says, come on. No. Name some place where you might see Santa before Christmas. Deborah. The mall. The mall. <laughs> Pass and play. They're gonna play, They're gonna play Chris. <laughs> Let's get it on. Jocelyn, name some place where you might see Santa before Christmas. South Pole. On the. <laughs> <laughs> At South Pole. <laughs> You see Santa all year round. You see Santa all year round. <laughs> wow, okay, all right. Name some place where you might see Santa before Christmas. Decorations in people's homes. Decorations in people's homes. <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm going to be honest with you. I know the first one, and that's it. Steve, we always see Santa in a parade. Yeah. yeah. A parade. You see Santa in a parade. Two strikes, Jack. Name some place where you might see Santa before Christmas. Let's say in his workshop. In his... <laughs> Good ass. Good ass. <laughs> in the South Pole, Steve. In the South Pole <laughs> at the workshop. Let's go, Mom. Losers. Listen to me, fellas. Mom, if it's there, you steal. We go to sudden death. Name some place where you might see Santa before Christmas. Andrea. On TV. (laughs) On TV! (laughs) Number three. (laughs) Street car. So far, what's been the best day of your life? Christmas. I got to tell you, man. I'm not married, man. I know. This was a great answer, though. You said <laughs> Christmas. You better oh! know it, though. Yeah. Survey said. Oh. <laughs> Instead of cookies and milk, what might Santa want people to leave out for him? Karen. Carrots. Carrots. Looking for carrots. Uh, Bonnie? How about a cocktail? A cocktail. <laughs> a little something to drink. <laughs> you want to pass the plate, Bonnie? I want to play. They're going to play. <laughs> K- 
Can you imagine the look on Santa Claus's face? <laughs> Packing all these toys down this chimney, working my drawers off, driving this sleigh all night. The hell left a carrot on the plate. <laughs> Jeff, <laughs> instead of cookies and milk, what might Santa want people to leave out for him? A uh, sandwich. A sandwich! <laughs> Man, only one strike. Instead of cookies and milk, what might Santa want people to leave out for him? A steak. A steak! We did not give up on it, buddy. Jennifer? How about a woman from the naughty list? <laughs> hey, ho, 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 ho. All right, now. Got a little something, something. <laughs> Santa Claus. <laughs> We're looking for the, I don't know who this chick is, but we got a hot chick. Don't worry about that. Great answer. That's a good answer there. I don't know how that's not up there. That's great. <laughs> well, folks, I'd just like to say it was enjoyable. One season as your host. <laughs> wow. Jason, instead of cookies and milk, what might Santa want people to leave out for him? Uh, probably Red Bull. Uh, uh, some Red Bull. Tough family, here we go. Here's your chance. Instead of cookies and milk, what might Santa want people to leave out for? Hot chocolate? Hot chocolate. Oh, that's so cute. That is so cute. Hot chocolate. <laughs> You're not going to believe these. Number two. <laughs> Number three. <laughs> Number four. Cheese. Number five. Chips. Anybody seen Santa Claus? Name a reason you might remove someone from your Christmas card list. Jay. Being to you. They're mean to you. <laughs> They're gonna play. Kristen, give me a reason you might remove someone from your Christmas card list. They removed you. <laughs> <laughs> they removed you. Chad, give me a reason you might take somebody off your Christmas card list. They didn't send you a gift. They didn't send you a gift? You don't get a card. <laughs> Only one strike, Nancy. Name a reason you might remove someone from your Christmas card. List. You lost their address. You lost their address. <laughs> Only one strike, Kevin. Only one answer left. Well, email them instead. Oh, good answer, Kevin. Yes. Yes. My mechanic. Did you email your mechanic? <laughs> Kev, you, you're the same guy yeah. that gave the mechanic. I know, answer. I know, I know. You, you, you see the pattern here? Yeah. Yeah. You know, and you, and you know, I, I know your family's gonna say, good answer, good answer, good answer. I think they're lying. <laughs> At least he's honest. You email him. Oh, wow. Come on, Jay, one answer left. Two strikes, though. You can clear the board, or you're going to give the Ortolani family a chance to steal. How about they died or they're dead? Oh, good, good <laughs> I love this guy, man. 
Donita is sending it to the dead people. <laughs> Name something about a department store Santa that would make a kid suspect he's not the real Santa. Dang. He's drunk. He's drunk. Oh. Hakeem. The color of his skin is African American. Good answer. Good answer. The African American Santa. You want to pass or play? No, no, oh no, oh no, oh no. You're playing this. No, no, you're not dumping that on this family. You're gonna ride this one out. Yes, indeed. We're gonna yeah. play. Yeah, yeah, come on, let's go. Yeah. Theo, let's go. Name something about a department store Santa that would make a kid suspect he's not the real Santa. I'm gonna say a skinny Santa. Yeah! He's skinny. Yes, yes, yes. Back in the happy business. Let's go, Nate. Name something about a department store Santa that would make a kid suspect he's not the real Santa. Steven, what would say? A fake beard. A fake beard. <laughs> T, here's the deal. If it's there, you win. If it's not there, you're still alive. No reindeer. No reindeer. <laughs> Kiara, yes. only one strike. I'm gonna say his voice is not deep enough. His voice is not deep <laughs> enough. Yeah. How, how, how? Yeah, that's right. So, oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> his voice isn't deep enough for the win. Name something a snow woman might find sexy about a snowman. Vicky. His cigar. His cigar. <laughs> yeah, Rick. His pipe. His pipe. <laughs> Let's go to Annette. His carrot nose. His carrot nose. Pass the play. We're gonna play. They're gonna play, Rick. Yeah. Vanessa, how you doing today? Good, thank you. Okay, Vanessa, name something a snow woman might find sexy about a snowman. His scarf. The scarf. Yeah. Good answer. Good answer. <laughs> I have no idea what any of this could be. I don't know. This. Hey, Rose, how you doing? Good, thank you. Feel good today? Yes, I do. Ready to defend the title? That's right. <laughs> Let's get it on. Name something a snow woman might find sexy about a snowman. His hat. His yes. hat. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Hey, wild thing. <laughs> All right, name something a snow woman might find sexy about a snowman. I'm gonna say his size. His size. <laughs> Big Daddy. Snowman got size on him. Yeah! Hey, Vicky, tell me something that a snow woman might find sexy about a snowman. I'm gonna say his eyes. His eyes. <laughs> and that only one strike. Give me something a snow woman might find sexy about a snowman. What girls find sexy about boys? Their smile. Yeah! Their smile. Good the <laughs> smile. <laughs> Only one strike, Vanessa. <laughs> Running out of stuff on that <laughs> snowman. Yes, we Name are. something a snow woman might find sexy <laughs> about a snowman. Um, buttons. <laughs> buttons. Yeah. His buttons. Yeah. 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 Buttons. Hey, we got two strikes, Rose. If it's there, you're still alive. If it's not there, Thompson family, get ready to steal. His temperature. Woo! Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. 
is temperature. <laughs> Rick, here's your chance, man. Name something a snow woman might find sexy about a snowman. That's a tough one. I don't know. I don't... We're going to go with snowballs. Good answer. Good answer. That was from the sisters. Good answer. Good answer. I'd have took it a lot better, Rick, had it come from you. <laughs> man, I'm really embarrassed at this one, man. It's snowballs! <laughs> Number seven. Hey. What the hell y'all been doing with y'all, snowman? Name something that would tick off Santa when he comes to your house. Jennifer. A fire in the fireplace. A fire. <laughs> 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 A fire in the fireplace. Good job. No cookies and milk left for him. No cookies and milk left. <laughs> wow. Pass They're gonna play. play. They're gonna play. Yeah. That's very funny. A fire in the fireplace. That's funny. Big Jonathan, let's get to it. Name something that would tick off Santa when he comes to your house. No Christmas tree. No. <laughs> no Christmas tree. Shay? Yes. Name something that would tick off Santa when he comes to your house. Okay, no children. <laughs> Let me tell you something. No, Shay. Shay, listen to me, darling. Listen to me. There's a great chance that your family's gonna win this game. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm trying. I know y'all, baby. I know. This one gonna be up there, though. This one gonna be up there. Okay. I'm gonna make it be up there. Okay. Just wiggle your nose. No children! No children! <laughs> Brianna? Yes? We got two strikes. <laughs> if it's there, you're still alive. If it's not there, the other team can steal and go to sudden death. Name something that would tick off Santa when he comes to your house. I'm gonna have to say no lights, no Christmas decorations. Yeah. Yeah. No yeah. lights, yeah. no yeah. decorations. Oh. 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 We got it. We got it. We got it. Hey, Shay, between you and Stan, <laughs> I'm having a great day. Stan, come on, man. If it's there, you steal and your family gets to go to sudden death. If it's not there, the Woody family wins the game. Stan, name something that would tick off Santa when he comes to your house. A mean dog. Yeah! Yeah! A mean dog. <laughs> Number three. No. No. If you made a snow woman, name a fruit you use for her boobies. Rhonda. Coconuts. Coconuts. Chandra. Apples. Apples. Yeah. Pass or play. They're gonna play. BJ, man, how you doing, I'm partner? Fine, fine, fine. BJ, uh, if you made a snow woman, name a fruit you use for boobies. Cantaloupe. <laughs> Cantaloupe. <laughs> Krista. Yes. How are you, darling? Steve, I did want to tell you that I have two young boys. My oldest is three. And every afternoon when we come home and turn on the TV and dun 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 starts, he was like, I don't want to see Steve. I don't want Steve. He hates you. Right. <laughs> I just want to 
wanted you to know that. Well, I, I'm, you know, I can handle that. I'm a mature adult, you know. You just tell him I can't stand his little ass. <laughs> Come on, my show and tell me your baby hates me. Well, I got news for you. I hate your baby, too. I'll take that. Mm -hmm. All right, hey, Crystal, look, uh, let's go. If you made a snow woman, name a fruit you use for her boobies. Okay, if I was a snow woman, it wouldn't be, but for some people, cherries. Oh. <laughs> cherries. Okay. Okay. Cherry. Matrice, how you doing, darling? I'm doing well. How are you, Steve? Good, good. <laughs> All right, you got no strikes. If you made a snow woman, name a fruit you use for the boobies. I would go with oranges. Oranges. <laughs> <laughs> Moon, you guys are doing pretty good, darling. Gotta go with grapes, Steve. Grapes. <laughs> grapes. <laughs> <laughs> grapes. <laughs> Sandra, you got one strike. Okay. Well, I like strawberries. Huh? Strawberries. BJ. <laughs> BJ. Yeah, it's kind of a man type question, so I'm expecting you to pull this out for the ladies. I like the way they taste, but some lemons. Kind of nice. <laughs> mm, lemons. <laughs> Lemons! Oh. Hey, Ron, here's your chance, buddy. Uh, get on the board. If you made a snow woman, name a fruit you use for a boobies. Grapefruit. Yes. A grapefruit. Besides snow, name something you'd need to make a snowman. Uh, marshmallows. Get the marshmallows and put it in that white snow, and yeah. those, those would be For the eyes. buttons. Those are the eyes. It'd be like the big blind snowman. <laughs> <laughs> Sir Grayson. <laughs> name something a man would love to unwrap on Christmas. Nate. His wife. His wife. Here go, play. Hey, Kathy. Hey, Steve. How you doing? Good, good. How good, are you? Good, good. What do you do, darling? I am an office manager at an automotive and tire store. Is it in, uh... Hay it's in Hazelhurst. Oh, okay. Well, we There's two we're... there, and we're one of the two. No. Yeah. It's two automotive and tire shops in Hazelhurst. That's right. Automotive we store. sell more tires in, <laughs> in Hazelhurst than Walmart than... does. <laughs> I tell you, Jack, don't believe that. <laughs> I am going to love this lady right here. All right, Kathy, let's go. We talked to 100 men. Name something a man would love to unwrap on Christmas morning. A new car. A new car. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Dana, let's go, darling. We talked to 100 men. Name something a man would love to unwrap on Christmas morning. A new gun. A new... <laughs> a new gun. You better believe it. <laughs> Need him? He would love to unwrap the swimsuit edition of Sports Illustrated. Ooh, Look yeah. at you, Need him. The swimsuit edition of Sports Illustrated. <laughs> Very creative answer, though. I like it. Hey, Lisa, only one strike, darling. Uh, an all-inclusive paid hunting trip. <laughs> the, these, these are the countryest answers. <laughs> And an all expense paid hunting trip. <laughs> who, 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 who the hell gets that for Christmas? 
Now, listen, I understand where you got it from, because hell, if we didn't already unwrap the gun, <laughs> gotta have somewhere to go to use it. Why, oh, this is good right here. Oh, man. Nate, how you doing, All man? Right, man? What do you do, buddy? I'm a high school government teacher. I went to Georgia Southern University. I coach middle school basketball, and I started the Cow Olympics in Hazelhurst. But let's just talk about you started the Cow <laughs> Olympics. That's right. Cow Olympics. It actually started by accident. I went to feed the cows one night, and I guess I left the gate See, open. Let, let me explain something to you. <laughs> the, the average person don't go out to feed the cow. <laughs> These are show cows. So, and they show cows. Oh, yeah. See, I've been to places and tried to feed some show girls, <laughs> right? Now we're talking about show cows. <laughs> so you go out back, cows are back there, and what happened? I fed it, I guess I left the gate open, and uh -huh. my mother called and said, there's a cow in the pool. So then, once we got back, we had to just let it swim around as long as it wanted to, and then climb out the steps. And took off running. Hold on, this is the best one. And then he, they turn this, him around. This can't get Yeah, it is, it is. They, Nate and his dad were chasing him back toward the pen, and I'm over there, and his dad hollers, cut him off, Nita. I'm thinking it's a 1,200 pound <laughs> steer. Cut him off, Nita, what are you standing there for? <laughs> block him, block him. <laughs> hey, and I said, that one, that's what I did. I said, I cut him off, because I thought you were crazy. This, yeah, this I just is pointed good. toward I the pen. I can't believe this right here. I mean, oh. Yeah. Whew. This is real. I can <laughs> I don't, I don't even drink, but I, I feel the need. <laughs> I need, y'all got moonshine? <laughs> Let's go. Uh, Nate, it's your turn, right? It is. And we probably could have used my answer Jesus. during that day. A huh. fishing pole. Y'all practiced this at the house, didn't you? You said, nah, we get man. Steve out here, we gonna tell him a bunch of lies. <laughs> back to back, a series of them. And at the end of it, Nate, I want you to fish the cow out the swimming pool with a pole. <laughs> All right, Nate, let's go. We talked to 100 men. Name something a man would love to unwrap on Christmas morning. Fishing pole. I wish your hand was... <laughs> Your answer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, let's go right here. A fishing pole. <laughs> all right, Tom, here's your chance. Okay. I gotta tell you. Okay. My brain has been over there frying. Okay. All right, here we go. We talked to 100 men. Name something a man would love to unwrap on Christmas morning. I want a new TV. I want a new TV. <laughs> Number six. Oh, Five. If Santa Claus was sick on Christmas Eve, who might he ask to deliver the present? <laughs> Gordon. The elves. My elves, buddy. <laughs> I knew it. Play it. Play it. We're going to play it. Hi, Margaret. Hi. Hi, how you doing? I'm fine. You're married to? I'm married to Gordon. Gordon. How mm -hmm. long y'all been married? This time we've been married probably. <laughs> <laughs> We've been married this 32 years this time. This is good. <laughs> this, this is so good. <laughs> this is good. Mm. So I don't, even, I don't even have to write these jokes. Just, <laughs> this one's here. Hey, Margaret, if Santa Claus was sick on Christmas Eve, who might he ask to deliver the presents? Mrs. Claus. Mrs. Claus. What do you do, Jim? I'm a personal trainer at Anytime Fitness in Loganville, and uh, I'm trying to open up my own gym. I want, I want to own about five of them. So I want to, I want to make that Steve Harvey money. So, <laughs> so, so that's what I'm going that's for. That's a good thing. Yeah. 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 You open up five gyms, yeah, you, you there. Are you married? 
No, no. I have, oh. I have a girlfriend, but not married. You have a girlfriend? I do. Yeah, is she here? She's here, yeah. Yeah, where is she? Hey. Yes. <laughs> okay, got you a little cutie pie, huh? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's what you can get when you're a personal trainer, right. you know? <laughs> Pull your shirt off and just start winning. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> See, I have to make this Steve Harvey money, because I take my shirt off, I start losing fans. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jimmy the trainer, if Santa Claus was sick on Christmas Eve, who might he ask to deliver the presents? He would have to teach the, uh, the little reindeers to carry the presents with their little hoofs. Just try to get the <laughs> reindeers with the little hoofs. It's Santa Claus. Good job. Sherry, uh, oh, oh, let me meet you. What do you do for a living? I teach Zumba. Zumba? You know, it's really oh, kind of like, yeah, you kind of shake it and, and pop yeah, it. Like yeah. There you go, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, until you get yourself in shape. Yeah. Okay, that's mm -hmm. cool. okay you ready? Yes. This is for the win, darling. If Santa Claus was sick on Christmas Eve, who might he ask to deliver the presents for the win? Okay, I'm thinking outside the box. He already knows the route. Easter Bunny. Yeah, yeah yes. that's right. He he, the he's going there anyway. He knows the route. Yeah. He knows all where all the kids are. Hey. Good answer. That is good a answer. good answer. Yeah, great. That is a good very good outside the box. He's, he's not convinced. Keep going. Hey, yeah, yeah. Keep going. The Easter Bunny already knows where all these kids live. She teaches Zumba. Hello, I got six kids. <laughs> Just... I got Zumba Easter Bunny. I'm like this with Santa Claus and Easter Bunny. It's up there. <laughs> good answer. I think it's a good yeah, answer. Yeah, I think it's a good answer. Yeah. Well. I, I want you to feel that way about it. <laughs> but it's hard for me to see the tie-in between the bunny and Christmas. They're friends. They're, they're friends. friends. Oh, they're magical wait, friends. Oh, wait, who's friends? Easter Bunny, Santa Claus, they're friends, they're magical friends. Just like that. Like this, like this. Like... Here we go. Get ready, David. <laughs> <laughs> the Easter Bunny! Even though he'd give you gifts, name a reason you wouldn't want to date Santa. Rebecca. He's fat. He's fat. That's, we're gonna play. We're Steve. gonna play. Let's go. <laughs> hey, Tom, we talked to 100 women. Even though he'd give you gifts, name a reason you wouldn't want to date Santa. Probably because he doesn't have a real job. He doesn't have a <laughs> real job. <laughs> well, he got everything you need on the back of that sleigh. Hell. <laughs> he doesn't have a real job. <laughs> Sharon? Because he lives at the North Pole. Because he a lives cold at the North in a cold Pole. Place. Too cold. Hey, Julia, give me a reason. We talked to 100 women. Even though he'd give you gifts, name a reason you wouldn't want to date Santa. Because he's old. Because he's <laughs> old. <laughs> Laura, <laughs> talk to 100 women. Even though he'd give you gifts, give me a reason you wouldn't want to date Santa. Oh, um, okay, his hair. Bad hair. <laughs> he's better. He's better. He's better. He's better. Right? You it's work like with long. kids, don't you? You work with kids because you I just do. firing them off. <laughs> I do. Bad hair. <laughs> Rebecca, we got two strikes. You gotta be careful. Chambers family, get ready. Mrs. Claus. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Claus, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Tom, we ask a hundred women, even though he'd give you gifts, name a reason you wouldn't want to date Santa. Because of those reindeer. Yes. Wow. Up there or not, I like the answer. Because of the reindeer. <laughs> Here we are again. Chance number two. We talked to 100 women, even though they give you gifts. Name a reason you wouldn't want to date Santa. 
Because Santa wouldn't be home for the holidays, Steve. Because Santa wouldn't be home for the holidays. Number six. Number five. Did you ever stop to think that maybe Miss Claus is only with Santa for the what? Natanja. The presents. The presents. We gonna play Steve. They gonna play. Q, how you feeling today, I'm sir? I'm doing well, Steve. How are you? All right. Did you ever stop to think that maybe Miss Claus is only with Santa for the what? The dingaling, Steve. Let me ask something, Q. Yes. In all of the bedtime stories you've heard about Santa, uh -huh. which one did you hear <laughs> that made you think Santa was all that? Uh, not one, but I'm just guessing. Let me think of what line could have threw you that way. Uh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Did you ever stop to think that maybe Miss Claus is only with Santa for the what? I want to say all the free time. All the free Good time. Answer. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Oh. Oh. Good answer. Good answer. Stephen, my man. Hello, Steve. What How you doing? do you do for a living, sir? I'm an air traffic controller, Steve. Oh, that's, I didn't know that. Yes, yeah. sir. That's yes. a pressure job right there. It is. It's a lot of pressure. But... Yes, a lot of mm -hmm. pressure. All right, Stephen, let's go. Did you ever stop to think that maybe Miss Claus is only with Santa for the what? Uh, she's probably with them for the free trips. For the free trips. Yeah. Anthony, how you feeling, doctor? I'm doing well. I'm doing well, Steve. All right, let's go, man. Did you ever stop to think that maybe Miss Claus is only with Santa for the what? Well, I think a lot of women date men because they're celebrities. She's with them for the fame. <laughs> yes, sir. Good answer. For the fame. Tanja, did you ever stop to think that maybe Miss Claus is only with Santa for the what? She's only with him because he is his figure. He's, you know, he's got that midsection yeah, and got that it's mid jolly and yeah, ho, you know, ho, 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 ho. Yeah. That's, oh, it. That's, that's it. That's it. That's she it. almost stuck a finger in my eye. Because right. <laughs> of his figure. Oh. Okay, Quentin, you gotta be careful here. You got two strikes. The Snyder family has a chance to steal. The elf, Steve. The elves. Good afternoon. Good You keep with the ho, ho, ho. No, no, no. The hell is going on at y'all's house? <laughs> yeah, ho, ho, ho. You done bought them little people in the room. <laughs> y'all come on in. Bring your video camera. We just... <laughs> because of the elves. Sheena, we got two strikes. You got to be careful. Snyder family can steal. Hey, did you ever stop to think that maybe Miss Claus is only with Santa for the what? I'm going to say all the cookies and baked treats that he yeah. brings back. Cookies yeah. and baked treats. Yeah. 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 Only one answer left, Stephen, but you got two strikes. You got to be careful. Snyder family can steal. Uh, I'm going to say the weather. She likes the cold weather. She likes yeah. the cold weather. Snyders, here's your chance, guys. Did you ever stop to think that maybe Miss Claus is only with Santa for the what? We're gonna go for the beard. The beard! <laughs> Number four. Money. Yeah. Now,
name something that Santa Claus has that probably makes the Easter Bunny jealous. Roll it. Sled. A sled. Cold. Presents for the children? Presents for the children. Pass a play. We're going to play, Steve. They're going to play, Cole. Jimmy, how you feeling, son? I'm feeling good. Good, good. What do you do for a living? I own a barbershop. Oh, my man. Yes, sir. Oh. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> That's the country club <laughs> for us. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes. Yeah, Y'all don't know it. <laughs> Culturally, the barbershop is the black guy's country club. Yes. Yeah. It's where we go to socialize, to meet other people, learn about what's happening, network, and shop. Right. Right. <laughs> All right, Jimmy, let's go, man. Name something that Santa Claus has that probably makes the Easter Bunny jealous. Reindeers. Got some reindeers, right. man. <laughs> hey, Ricky, how you doing? Good, I'm good, Steve. How you what doing? What do you do for a living, sir? I'm the owner of an appliance business. Oh, really? Appliance business? Yeah. Like, you sell, like... Service, major household appliances. Oh, you service them? Yes. Okay, because I, yeah. I thought you sell them. I thought you sell them. I sell a little bit on them also. Oh, you like, <laughs> oh, you I mean? I can fix you up, man. I know you can. <laughs> My brother, Bobby, we, we get it right I know for you it. do. Yeah, you drop it off to get repaired, you don't come back with the money. Yeah. It'll be down at the barbershop, sad with folks. Yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. All right, Ricky, name something that Santa Claus has that probably makes the Easter Bunny jealous. Elves. 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 Hello, Rita. Hello. You're the only queen on the team. Yes, I am. You ready to play? I'm ready to play. All right, name something that Santa Claus has that probably makes the Easter Bunny jealous. A wife. A wife. Yeah. Yeah. Tony, how you doing, man? Wonderful, Steve. Good, good. Big Tony, what do you do? I'm a sale technician. Oh, okay, sale technician. Yes, sir. I actually fix the appliances. I know. <laughs> I, the, uh, I, know. I see the it. I see it coming. <laughs> Next door. Yeah. I see it coming. Yeah. Oh, there's always, always, always a connection here. Yeah. 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 Ask me how I got yeah. it, why I see. got it. Just be glad that I got it. Yeah. I'll I bring see. them in there. One more time. Say it again, Tony. Don't ask me how I got it or why I got it. Just be glad that I got it. <laughs> see, y'all need to hear that. <laughs> see, because if you're going to be down at the barbershop, you got to have a slogan. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Big Tony, you only got one answer left on the board. You have no strikes. If it's there, you clear the board. I say a Christmas list. Got a Christmas yeah. list. Yeah. That's okay. Only one strike, Roland. Name something that Santa Claus has that probably makes the Easter Bunny jealous. Uh, I'm gonna say a house. A house. <laughs> yeah, we got two strikes now. You gotta be careful, Jimmy. Uh, the Simmons family can steal cookies. That's a good answer, man. Cookies! Wow. At the North Pole, Santa spends every evening playing with his what? Reindeers. Reindeer. His elves. His elves. They're gonna play. Hi, Shalise. How are you, darling? Hi, Steve. Good. What do you do? Um, I help my husband in his law office, and I am the mother of seven kids. Really? And, there yeah. You go. Yeah. I'm former Arizona Mother of the Year, Young Mother of the Year. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So, how old are the kids? My kids are 16, 15, 14, 12, 10, 8, and 6. She nailed it. That's good. That's good. That's why guys cannot get pregnant. <laughs> it, it'll never work. We, we, no, that would be, the population on Earth would be about eight. <laughs> All right, you ready to play? I'm ready. All right, uh, at the North Pole, Santa spends every evening playing with his what? Santa plays with his toys. Plays with his toys. Hey, 
Hey, Brick, how you doing, man? I'm doing good. What do you do, buddy? I'm actually business partners with my brother there doing real estate. Oh, okay, that's pretty good. Yeah. So you're not really the less attractive younger brother. No, I bring in all the clients with my good looks, so. <laughs> <laughs> I love this family. <laughs> she just looked down there and went, oh my God. They're just ruining it. Yeah, he yeah. said it on yeah. TV. This is your family. Yeah. All right, Brick, let's go, man. At the North Pole, Santa spends every evening playing with his what? I'm going to say his wife, Mrs. Claus. Yeah. Oh, yeah. His wife, Mrs. Yeah. Claus. Yeah. Zach. Hey, Zach, let's go. At the North Pole, Santa spends every evening playing with his what? He's probably tinkering with his sleigh. He's got to get it ready. Yeah. Sleigh! So, what's your name? My name is Crystal. Okay. And yeah, move your hair okay. off your name tag. Then so, we, there you go. Uh huh. This is Tinkerbell, but I have the two. Well, the baby name, you're going to name the baby Tinkerbell? Okay. Yeah. Well, I, have, I mean, it's your baby. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I have, I have two little girls at home, and they are insistent that we name this baby Tinkerbell. Oh, okay. So we're just kind of going with it, and then oh, when it, okay. when, yeah, we when we have to, when yeah. we have to fight that battle, we'll fight it. Right. Zach, you got yes. this, this yeah. your wife. No, no. No, we, no. <laughs> oh. 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 We, we get that before. I'm yeah. sorry. No. <laughs> big brother. Oh, that's your big brother. Big okay, brother. oh, I'm sorry. sorry about that, Zach. <laughs> Zach, went, oh, hell, come on now, Steve, come on. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, just, you, you look close in age, though. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so. That's We've cool. gotten that before. Well, I, well, I sometimes like to rub it in and just pretend like we are together when we're in public. That's kind of weird. And I just make... <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's not having that as a joke. No. <laughs> he goes, no, 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 it's kind of weird, kind of <laughs> weird. <It's> just... <laughs> He's not playing along with that no, at I all. No, I do it merely to make him feel awkward. Oh, well, that's, that's good. All. all right, you ready? Uh, at I'm the ready. North Pole, Santa spends every evening playing with his what? I'm going to say his list. Oh, He's playing he with his, his list. list. All right, Jake, only one strike. At the North Pole, Santa spends every evening playing with his what? I bet he's got a snow castle. He's probably playing with the snow castle. Built one probably of those. Probably playing yeah. with the snow castle. <laughs> snow castle! Yeah. All right, Shalise, we got two strikes. Got to be careful here. Sanders' family could steal. I'm pretty sure he plays with his pet. His pet! Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right, Sanders, here's your chance. At the North Pole, Santa spends every evening playing with his what? He's got to get that suit right, Steve. His suit. <laughs> playing with his suit. Just playing with his suit. <laughs> Number seven. Here. Six. Oh, I don't really want to know that about Santa. <laughs> Name something a department store Santa has within reach when he's working. <laughs> Megan. An elf. An elf. Good answer. Good answer. Dollar. <laughs> Pass or play? Oh, we're going to play, Steve. We're going to play. <laughs> hey, Daniel, give me something a department store Santa has within reach when he's working. Oh, Steve, this is easy. A present. A present. Hey, Princess, tell me that something that a department store Santa has within reach when he's working. He has his Santa hat. Good answer. His Santa hat. Hey, Dan, tell me something that a department store hat Santa has in reach when he's working. Got to have his naughty or nice list. Good answer. Got to have his naughty or nice list. Oh. All right, Michelle, look, we got to be careful now. We got two strikes, OK? I'm going to have to say candy canes. <laughs> candy canes. <laughs> hey, Megan, two yes. strikes again. Bird family can steal. Mrs. Claus? Good 
You ever, um, you ever been to the mall when you was a <laughs> kid to see Santa? I did. Yeah. You ever seen her? I have. Really? I have. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Anybody seen Santa wife at the damn mall? Come on, guys. <laughs> but Mama Claus never makes the trip. <laughs> but maybe two other people somewhere saw her and thought, that's got to be her. Mrs. Claus, come on. <laughs> All right, Bird family, name something that a department store Santa has within reach when he's working. We're going to say the children. <laughs> the children. <laughs> Number six. Water. Five. And one. Six, two. Three. present do you think Santa would like for Christmas? Many. A car. A car, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Kathy? Money. Money! <laughs> Janisha? A new wife. A new wife. <laughs> Christy? Cookies. Cookies. Pass or play? We'll play. Come on. Let's play. play. Yeah, 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 come on. Come on. All right, Jeffrey, how you doing today, man? Good, good. Good to see you, you, buddy. What present do you think Santa would like for Christmas? A new suit. A new suit. Yeah. Hey, Lloyd, what present do you think Santa would like for Christmas? A tropical vacation. Yeah. <laughs> A tropical vacation. I love her answers, man. Her answers are always good, man. Always good. Jimmy, how you feeling today, buddy? I feel good, Steve. I know. You look good, man. I feel good. Yeah. He's an exciting guy. I love to come hang out with Jimmy for one day. Uh, hey, Steve, let me, let me tell you something, Steve. Go ahead. I'm crazy. I'm as crazy as you are. I guarantee you we'd have a good time. See, that's why I want to do it, Jimmy. <laughs> See, crazy recognize crazy. <laughs> Anybody crazier than me, I want to go hang out with it for a day. I know it's going to be good, man. You, you ever wanted to hang out with a dry person? You want to hang out with somebody dull? You want to hang out with somebody going to do something real stupid? That's me. I know it. All right, Jimmy, what present do you think Santa would like for Christmas? How about a new sled? New sled. A new sled. Oh. Hey, Kathy, only one strike. What present do you think Santa would like for Christmas? New reindeer. A new reindeer. A new reindeer. Oh. Christy? We got two stripes. Mm -hmm. Now be careful. Mm -hmm. Styles family can steal, okay? We'll say a new toy shop. A new toy shop. <laughs> okay, Styles, here's your chance. Y'all okay. don't seem like y'all together on this one. Come on now. What present do you think Santa would like for Christmas? A new job. Santa, Santa can't quit. Those kids getting on his nerves, Steve. Yeah, but Santa can't quit, though. As much as they get on their nerves, these kids is waiting next year. I just never work with kids, huh? I ain't never worked with kids. <laughs> oh, oh, well, oh, the little English teacher, oh. Had a little moment. It was, it was, you ain't never worked with kids, have you? <laughs> Damn, who'd, who'd you think he was gonna be teaching? Santa, a new job! <laughs> Number six. 
number five. Number four, God. <laughs> Name something a woman with a crush on Santa might leave out for him instead of cookies. <laughs> J.E. Panties. Play the panties. <laughs> That's okay. Customs allowed. Oh. <laughs> Pass or play? Let's play. They're gonna play. Yeah. Hey, Carla, how you doing? Good. Name something a woman with a crush on Santa might leave out for him instead of cookies. My dad's a pastor. He might not like this answer. But oh, I'm he gonna... ain't gonna like it, but he's go ahead, like though. It. He ain't him. He's not. We trying to win 20,000. Right. right. That's right. Somebody <laughs> gotta win these ties. Come on. <laughs> so, I'm gonna say condom. So what you saying to Santa Claus? <laughs> you, know, you get to putting all them toys under that tree. <laughs> Bring that salsa in the back. <laughs> Damn. Condom. Oh. Hey, Veronica. Hi, Steve. Name something a woman with a crush on Santa might leave out for him instead of cookies. I'm gonna go traditional. Mistletoe. Uh -oh. Mistletoe. Mistletoe. Terrence, my man, name something a woman with a crush on Santa might leave out for him instead of cookies. The naughty list. Her naughty list. Oh, good answer. Her naughty list. Oh. Do you know, do you teach at a high school? Yes, sir. Do you know when this airs, do you know the points, <laughs> the brownie points you gonna get at that school? Are you married? I am not. Oh. Girl, when they discover how fine you are and you're smart, you got nice teeth, pretty eyes. That's all her hair, too. And you're smart. <laughs> That's my baby she, sister. I'm proud listen, of her. listen to me. She, she ain't eat. Don't, don't say that out loud. Yeah, you, you ain't supposed to say that, Allah. Don't mention nothing on the woman being fake or real. Oh. But I'm telling you, if you do that, if that was your wife and you said that, and that's real, now her eyelashes. <laughs> <laughs> don't, just don't mention nothing fake or real. See, no, no, you ain't I'm gonna write that down. Problem. Yeah, write that down. Learn yourself something. You married? Yes, sir. Yeah, Cause Ten you got years. five kids. Yes, sir. That's right. See, y'all know this. <laughs> I, I'm just excited. He's Steve. trying to get her married. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna you take care of her. He ain't done it yet. He has, he has not succeeded. I am okay. the love doctor. Oh. <laughs> I can fix it. All right, Michelle, we gotta be careful here. We got two strikes. The Sorek family can steal. Name something a woman with a crush on Santa might leave out for him instead of cookies. Uh, she might give him roses. Might leave Santa Claus some roses. Oh, All right, oh, rap, family. Jesus. Here's the deal. Name something a woman with a crush on Santa might leave out for him instead of cookies. Herself. Herself. Yeah. Herself. Yeah. Number eight. Six. Name something snowmen might have nightmares about. Fire. Fire! Yes. <laughs> Summertime. Summertime. <laughs> Pass or play? We're gonna play. They're gonna play. <laughs> Hi, Carly. Hey, how are you? So what school is it? Valley High School. Valley High. The Rams. The Rams. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, and what city is that in? Valley, Alabama. 
Valley, mm -hmm. Alabama. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Some more cheerleaders. Yeah, they holler. <laughs> yeah. That's them. That's right there. One, two, three, four. <laughs> How old are you? I'm 17. Do you know that when this airs, you are going to be a major star? <laughs> you know. Girl, you, she did. She, well, she did her hat on. <laughs> Counting on it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Carly, let's go, darling. Name something snowmen have nightmares about. I'm gonna go with a snowplow, something to knock them over. <laughs> a snowplow. <laughs> a snowplow. <laughs> hey, Kristen. Hello. All right. Well, <laughs> name something that snowmen might have nightmares about. I'm gonna say dogs, because they tend to make the snow yellow. <laughs> <laughs> dogs! <laughs> All right, Bill, let's go. Children. <laughs> Here they come! <laughs> Children! <laughs> hey, Denise. Hey. How you doing? I'm doing wonderful. That's a pretty necklace you Thank got you. on there. What Thank do you do for a living? Well, I am an admin assistant at Bats and Cook Company in West Point, Georgia. An They're general contractor. Admin con assistant. Yes. They call me Nisi. They Nisi. call you Nisi. Yeah, that's my nickname at work. Nisi. Denise, can I tell you something? Sure. <laughs> the name Denise in every black family, they call the girl Nisi. <laughs> You know? <laughs> so, Nisi. Yes. We gonna send you an NAACP card. Woo! Yeah. You are now a full-fledged member. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, show your love for Nisi. Yeah! <laughs> That's pretty funny. All right, Denise, only one strike. Name something snowmen have nightmares about. All right, well, you know they got that carrot nose. The animal's coming and eating his body parts. <laughs> the animal's coming and eating their body parts. What you looking at, Anthony? She just said, so, all she said was, animals coming to eat the body parts. That's all she said. What you perk up for? <laughs> he heard body parts. He, what, <laughs> Come and eat your body parts before Anthony get a hold of them. <laughs> All right, Katie, you gotta be careful, darling. You got two strikes. The Rogers family can steal. I'm thinking like um, an avalanche or more <laughs> snow covering them up. <laughs> an avalanche. <laughs> All right, guys, here we go. Name something snowmen have nightmares about. Melting, melting. <laughs> Put it on the board. Okay. Melting. <laughs> Seven. <Snowballs>. Six. <laughs> Four. A jealous Miss Claus might say to Santa, it's either blank or me. Kevin. The elves. The elves. Okay. The elves. <laughs> Rudolph. Rudolph. <laughs> Pass or play? Where are you going? We shall play, They don't play. Is it Sherry? Sherry. Sherry, how Cherie, you doing? I am doing well. All right, Sherry, let's go. <laughs> Fill in the blank. A jealous Miss Claus might say to Santa, it's either blank or me. It's either Christmas Day or me. Ooh, Day. Wow. Damn, Miss Santa. You gonna shut all the kids shut down? Shut Because you I'm ain't happy. <laughs> Christmas or me? Oh! 
Tanisa, how you doing? I'm wonderful. How are you? Good. What do you do? I've been teaching for 14 years. I was once voted Teacher of the Year in Orange County, yeah. Orlando, yeah. Florida. Yes. Teacher of the Year. Yes. Wow. Oh, uh, well, that's good. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, fill in the blank. A jealous Miss Claus might say to Santa, it's either blank or me. Sleigh rides. Nice, nice. It's either sleigh rides or me. Oh. So good. Good job, good job. Good job. Good job. How you doing, sir? What do you do? Well, I'm a car executive from Enterprise Car Sales. I'm a former teacher and uh, slash realtor. And also, uh, I'm, this is my wife for 14 years. I'm married at Florida A&M. Right. Uh, my man. My greatest, my greatest accomplishment in my life, I'm a living donor. I donated my kidney to my mom. Yeah. Wow. My man. Yes, sir. That's a cold move, right? Yes. Yeah. Congratulations, man. Appreciate That's that. Thank All you. right, Eric, let's go. Fill in the blank. A jealous Miss Claus might say to Santa, it's either blank or me. Christmas cookies. Mm. <laughs> it's either Christmas cookies or me. Christmas cookies. <laughs> Zakia? Zakia. What do you do for a living, Zakia? I have a doctorate degree in theology. In what? And theology. Oh, religion? Yes. Oh, okay. And I own a woman's boutique in Tampa, White Tent Runway Boutique. And I am a reoccurring guest on NBC's The Daytime Show on their fashion segment. All right, well, let's do it. Fill in the blank. A jealous Miss Claus might say to Santa, it's either blank or me. The North Pole. We're tired of this cold weather. Oh, we're tired of living in the North Pole. <laughs> Brian, what do you do for a living? Uh, well, I like Zakia. I actually have a man of many things. I'm assistant principal of a middle school. I'm a motivational speaker. I own my own barbecue restaurant, well, which I actually happen to bring a little sauce for you here. <laughs> so it's barbecue. That's for you, Steve. Take that with you. That's pretty good. All right, here we go. B, we only got one answer left. If it's there, you clear the board. Fill in the blank. A jealous Miss Claus might say to Santa, it's either blank or me. I'm gonna go with sleigh bells. Sleigh bells. This is the sleigh bells of me. Okay, here we go. Fill in the blank. <laughs> a, je a jealous Miss Claus might say to Santa, it's either blank or me. The workshop or me. It's either the workshop or me. <laughs> Number four. <laughs> Name something a vampire might say he wants for Christmas. Four. Blood. <laughs> Blood. <laughs> Pass the play. Are we ready to play? Yes, yeah. sir. I'm ready to play. Okay. I'm ready to play. I'm sorry, I was too excited. All right, David, name something a vampire might say he wants for Christmas. Every vampire I've seen has a cape. A cape. A cape. Hey, Jerry, name something a vampire might say he wants for Christmas. A new casket. <laughs> A new cat. See, I like that. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Danielle, name something a vampire might say he wants for Christmas. A new castle? <laughs> what answer? What answer? What answer? What answer? A new castle? <laughs> Big E, name something a vampire might say he wants for Christmas. Curtains. <laughs> Gotta keep it dark in here. <laughs> Don't want no light in. He wants some curtains. <laughs> I'm telling you though, that was really a smart answer though. It was really smart. All right, we got two strikes, Corey. You gotta be careful. The Beams family can steal. Name something a vampire might say he wants for Christmas. A new victim. Yeah. <laughs> 
gotta do it. That's good, there, boy. Thank That's you, sir. Good. You think it's up there? Yes, sir. <laughs> I bet it is, too. <laughs> yeah, man. How many, how many, let me ask you here, man. About, about how many points you think that would be if it was up there? A lot of points, man. A lot, a lot of, of points. points. Be you think be might be at the top three. Top three? Might be possibly. 78, something you know, like that. Somewhere around in there. <laughs> roughly. <laughs> roughly. Roughly. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I well, what is it again? A victim. A victim. Yeah. <laughs> oh, don't lose the certainty now. <laughs> it damn show sure sound like it's up there. All right, you ready, Carl? I'm ready, I'm ready. All right, good. Now, look up on the board. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All righty. <laughs> yeah. That was my answer. <laughs> Forgive me, forgive me. Corey got his jacket flying over here. Yeah. A new victim. <laughs> Woo! I love that. I'm sorry. All right, we need a new one now, Corey, because that's up there. It's number one. A lot of people said it, too, at least in the top three. Here we go, two strikes. Got to be careful. Name something a vampire might say he wants for Christmas. A... a, a <laughs> Um. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Bean family. Name something a vampire might say he wants for Christmas. New teeth. New teeth. <laughs> Number four. Name something a naughty kid does to Santa. Eddie. Pulls his beard. Pulls his beard. <laughs> Pass the play. We're playing, Steve. Wow. Playing well, man. We're playing really good. Josiah, name something that a naughty kid does to Santa. Hits him, Steve. Hits him. Good answer, good answer. <laughs> Isaac, name something a naughty kid does to Santa. Uh, I'm going to say mistreats his elves. <laughs> mistreats the elves. <laughs> hey, little man. <laughs> come here. Little man, little dude, come here right there. Get you. <laughs> he mistreats the elves. <laughs> Nico, name something a naughty kid does to Santa. I'm say he rubs his stomach. Rubs his stomach. <laughs> Eddie, you got to be careful, man. We got two strikes. Name something a naughty kid does to Santa. Uh, steals his milk and cookies, Steve. Steals <laughs> Steals the milk and cookies. <laughs> Eddie, two strikes. Be careful. Tuck family can steal. Uh, takes his presents. Good answer. Good takes answer. takes Good his answer. presents. Good answer. All right, tough friend. Name something a naughty kid does to Santa. He pees on him, Steve. He goes to the bathroom on him. <laughs> he pees on him. <laughs> Number eight. Seven. Six. Out. Yes. <laughs> Name a holiday that might be the busiest night of the year for sex in America. I'm gonna say Christmas. Hello. Put a bow on it. Merry Christmas to me. Ho, 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 ho. Christmas. Name something you'd hate to wake up on Christmas morning to see the dog doing under the tree. Using the bathroom. Using the bathroom. (laughs) 
We'll play, Steve. They're gonna play. <laughs> Hey, let's go. <laughs> Name something you hate to wake up on Christmas morning and see the dog doing under the tree. Chewing the presents. Chewing the presents. Hey, Christy, uh, name something you'd hate to wake up on Christmas morning and see the dog doing under the tree. Doing another dog. I guess he say, hey, everybody getting something for Christmas. <laughs> Doing another dog! <laughs> roll, name something you'd hate to wake up on Christmas morning and see the dog doing on the tree. You're on a roll, baby. Drinking the water out from under the tree? <laughs> Drinking the water under the tree. <laughs> Hey, Jamie. Hey. Uh, name something you'd hate to wake up on Christmas morning to see the dog doing under the tree. Chewing on the tree. Chewing on the tree. <laughs> hey, that's one answer left. If it's there, you clear the board. Chewing my electrical cords. Well, he won't be your dog anymore. <laughs> Chewing the electrical cords. All right, Janelle, that's one answer left, but this time you got two strikes. You gotta be careful. The Spear family can steal. Janelle, name something you'd hate to wake up on Christmas morning and see the dog doing under the tree. Sleeping. Sleeping! Spear family, name something you'd hate to wake up on Christmas morning and see the dog doing under the tree. Steve, we'd hate to see the dog vomiting underneath the tree. Right. Hate to see the dog vomiting under the tree. <laughs> Number four. Name something that's under Santa's red suit. Mike. A, a belt. A belt. <laughs> His underwear. His underwear. We're gonna play, Steve. We're gonna play, Steve. All right, man, let's go. Name something that's under Santa's red suit. That big belly. That big belly. <laughs> he got hot. He on fire right now. Lewis, name something that's under Santa's red suit. I would say um, his boots. <laughs> you didn't know. Uh, you didn't get to go Santa when you was... You know. No, sir. No, sir. <laughs> you must really think these damn boots is gonna be up there. Oh, yeah. They're up there. They're up there. Get out. Galosh. Hey, it's up there. Hey, let me ask you, man. Yes, sir. Are you married? Yes, sir. My wife, is Bernita, is out there right now. Okay, good. Which one is 23 Bernita? years. There she is. Okay, hey, Bernita. <laughs> <laughs> it's up there, baby. <laughs> it's up there, baby. <laughs> baby, it's up there. <laughs> well, since so you said it to your wife, I sure hope it is. Uh, Them boots! <laughs> Mike, name something that's under Santa's red suit. Muscles. All right! Oh. Little fat Santa done went to the gym. I ain't told nobody. He, he Santa can't, he got can't... muscles. <laughs> All right, Vernon, you gotta be careful now. You got two strikes. The Bear Ball family can steal. Tattoos, Steve. Good answer.
All right, let's go, Dave. Name something that's under Santa's red suit. We're going to go with suspenders. <laughs> suspenders! <laughs> Number six. <laughs> Five. Four. <laughs> Three. Instead of toys, what would Santa be shocked to discover the elves were making? <laughs> Melissa. Condoms. Get <laughs> yeah. 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 elves just in there just... Making damn condoms. What are you... <laughs> How did that come out your head I like know. that? <laughs> you don't know. You just <laughs> Melissa thinks that the little elves is in the back and they put all the toys and hammers down and just making little rubber things with the little <laughs> tips on them and making condoms. Oh. Alcohol. Making alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> Them damn elves is making moonshine. <laughs> Karen, instead of toys, what would Santa be shocked to discover the elves were making? Cigarettes. <laughs> Good answer! <laughs> making cigarettes. <laughs> Miss Lynette, only one strike. Instead of toys, what would Santa be shocked to discover the elves were making? Drugs. <laughs> Good <laughs> Making drugs. The elves is in the back with a meth lab. <laughs> well, Josh, here we go, man. Joshua, instead of toys, what would Santa be shocked to discover the elves were making? What if the elves were making those thongs that they hate to see at the restaurant? <laughs> <laughs> So, let me ask you something, Josh. Uh -huh. You think that this game is connected? <laughs> you think that these questions got something to do with the last damn question? They don't, the... but you was talking about the beach and the thoughts was kind of on my mind just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> That's because you young. Yeah, man. I'm keeping you know, it like you that said. Because you make it do what it do. <laughs> See what do. Got the males back there making thongs like like Josh like him. <laughs> oh. Hey, Miss Pamela, you gotta be careful now. You got two strikes. Instead of toys, what would Santa be shocked to discover the elves were making? Guns, Steve. <laughs> elves, is, elves is making guns. Brandon, instead, you got two strikes. You got to be careful. The foe she family can steal. Instead of toys, what would Santa be shocked to discover the L's were making? Books. Good answer! Good answer! Good answer! Good answer! Books! Foe she family, here we go. Instead of toys, what would Santa be shocked to discover the elves were making, Shanna? Making whoopee. Yeah, 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 yeah. The elves yeah, is yeah. in the back making some more little elves. <laughs> Number seven. Place Miss Claus would hate to find out Santa stopped by on his way home. Strip club. <laughs> Santa stopped at the strip club. Liquor store. Liquor store. <laughs> oh. 
Hey, hey, Justin, name a place Miss Claus would hate to find out Santa stopped by on his way home. I'm gonna try a bar. A bar? Hey, hey, hey. Hey, How you doing? Um, I'm a social media, I have a social media company called GA Followers and basically just talk about everything related to the state of Georgia. So news, sports, events, everything. You can find it on my website, Twitter, Instagram, all that. Yeah. <laughs> Jeremy, name a place Miss Claus would hate to find out Santa stopped by on his way home. Maybe the South Pole? Stop by the South Pole. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Tanya, name a place Miss Claus would hate to find out Santa stopped by on his way home. A buddy's house. Stop by a buddy's yeah, house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rishi? Rishi. 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 What do you do? I am a executive assistant for a sports analyst for ESPN. Yeah. Yeah. Woo! Yes! <laughs> Jackpot, boy! Name a place Miss Claus would hate to find out Santa stopped by on his way home. I think Santa shouldn't stop by his girlfriend's house. Oh, good answer, good answer. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. 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 Santa swore, <laughs> Santa stopped by the snow bunny house. <laughs> <laughs> I do Christmas, you do Easter. <laughs> Let's hook up. <laughs> Another woman's house. Santa just stopped by a hussy's house. <laughs> All right, man, we gotta be careful now, child. We got two strikes, man. Uh, young family can steal. Hospital. Stop by the hospital. <laughs> All right, young family. Name the place Miss Claus would hate to find out Santa stopped by on his way home. He stopped by a retail store. Stop yeah. by a retail <laughs> store. <laughs> Number seven. Six. Santa getting it in, baby. Four. <laughs> That's a damn shame. I've, I've been to all these places. Three. Let's hurry up and move on to question two. A kid might say, I saw mommy kissing Santa. <laughs> Melanie? Santa Claus. Santa Claus. <laughs> okay. A kid might say, I saw mommy kissing Santa Claus, and I saw daddy kissing who? Mommy. Mommy. Yes. Pass or play? We're gonna play. They're gonna play. <laughs> hey, Wesley, a kid might say, I saw mommy kissing Santa Claus, and I saw daddy kissing who? An elf. <laughs> kissing the elf. <laughs> <laughs> hey, James, a kid might say, I saw mommy kissing Santa Claus, and I saw daddy kissing who? The neighbor. Yeah. Daddy kissing the neighbor. Yeah. Miss Deborah Kidd might say, I saw mommy kissing Santa Claus. I saw daddy kissing who? His girlfriend. Daddy was kissing his girlfriend. Yes. Yeah. What do you mean by the girlfriend? You, uh, they want you to explain what you mean by his girlfriend. Not his wife, a wo another woman. You saying it's another woman a girlfriend. Who is the other woman a girlfriend is what they trying to get. Because remember, the question is, a kid might say, I saw mommy kissing Santa Claus, I saw daddy kissing who? I saw daddy kissing that lady who wasn't married to him. <laughs>
Now, if I press her one more time, you, you finna get an answer. We ain't gonna be able to put on TV. His girlfriend. All right, Lattimo, let's go. A kid might say, I saw mommy kissing Santa Claus, and I saw daddy kissing who? Grandma. Grandma. Grandma! Oh. All right, Katrina, we gotta be careful now. We got two strikes the Rommel family can steal. He will be kissing his guns in the mirror himself. Kissing what? His guns. In the mirror, himself. You know, you know how they do. You know. Himself, his guns. <laughs> okay, here we go. A kid might say, I saw. I can read the question. Man, I got a headache messing with these two families right here. A kid might say, I saw mommy kissing Santa Claus, and I saw daddy kissing who? Mrs. Claus! That's what they were trying to get to. Mrs. Claus! <laughs> that's why they were... See, that's why they had to be specific. Because Mrs. Claus ain't the other woman or a girlfriend. That's why you had to be specific. Very good. Number six. Five. Liberty. Name something Mrs. Claus would probably like to ride on. Sleigh. The sleigh. <laughs> Steve, you're playing. They're gonna play. <laughs> Eddie, name something Mrs. Claus would probably like to ride on. The reindeer. The reindeer. <laughs> Mercedes named something Mrs. Claus would probably like to ride on. Mr. Claus. <laughs> <laughs> ho, ho, ho. Let's get it on. Yeah, Mr. Claus. One answer left. If it's there, your family wins the game. Matt, name something Mrs. Claus would probably like to ride on. A new car, Steve. Woo! A new car. Uh... Jazz, one answer left, only one strike. Name something Mrs. Claus would probably like to ride on. Um. The North Pole train? <laughs> Good answer. Good answer. Right on the North Pole train. Oh. Michelle, one answer Hello, left. Mommy. If it's there, your family wins the game. But this time, you have two strikes. If it's not there, the Gross family can steal and win. Michelle, name something Mrs. Claus would probably like to ride on. Back of an elf? An elf? On an elf. Come on, girl. Get in, get in, on one of the little elves. One of them boys been walking by looking real good. Give me one of them elves. Uh, that's OK. That's OK. Good answer, baby. All right, gross family, here we go. There is one answer left. Just one answer. If it's not there, Joyce family wins the game. What? Name something what? Mrs. Claus airplane. would probably like to ride on. An airplane? This is for the win. An airplane! <laughs> Number four. Name something you find in Santa's sleigh that tells you he's been naughty. 
A thong. A thong. A white Santa. Santa got a thong in the sleigh, baby. Yeah, all right. Todd, name something you find in Santa's sleigh, tell you he been naughty. How about some cologne or something? Good yeah, yeah, no, good 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 some cologne. <laughs> Yeah. Only one strike, darling. Name yeah. something you find in Santa Slate that tells you he's been naughty. I'm gonna say porn. Ooh. Yeah! yeah. 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 Santa yeah. got the porn in the slate. Yeah. Paul, name something you find in Santa Slate that tells you he's been naughty. Cool. Oh. Cool. Yeah. Hey, Tim, give me something in Santa Slate tells you he's been naughty. Some sex toys, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> sex toys. Yeah! <laughs> Lindsay, something you find in Santa Slate tells you he's been naughty. Another girl's phone number. Oh. Another girl's phone number. Yes, <laughs> All right, Todd, we got two strikes. You gotta be careful, buddy. Slagle family can steal. Name something you'd find in Santa Slay that tells you he's been naughty. Some empty gifts. Oh, you can dig it in there, you know, put it in the pocket. Wow. <laughs> empty gifts. <laughs> Putting them in his pocket. <laughs> <laughs> All right, family, name something you find in Santa Slate that tells you he's been naughty. Steve, we're going with booze. Santa got some booze in the ride. <laughs> yeah, that ain't all he's gonna have in there. Number seven. <laughs> Six. If Santa got stuck in the chimney, name someone he might call on his cell phone. <laughs> Olivia. Rudolph. Rudolph. His elves. His elves. Yeah! That's okay. I got okay. Colleen, if Santa got stuck in the chimney, name someone he might call on the cell phone. Mrs. Claus. Mrs. Yeah. Claus. Yeah. Angie, if Santa got stuck in the chimney, name someone he might call on the cell phone. How about Frosty? How about Frosty? Frosty the snowman, what a chill old friend is he. I want Frosty to come get me out the chimney. Oh, Frosty, I'm stuck again, big boy. Frosty! <laughs> yeah. She's exciting, I'll tell you that. Girl. She'll never let me down. Christina, if Santa got stuck in the chimney, name someone you might call on his cell phone. The fire department? The fire yeah. department! Yeah. Hey, Ashley, if Santa got stuck in the chimney, name someone you might call on his cell phone. Someone at the North Pole. Someone at the North yeah. Pole. Yeah. All right, Heather, we gotta be careful on, now. Yeah. We got two strikes. Fields family can steal. The homeowner. Yeah. The homeowner. Yeah. 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 Colleen, two strikes again. 
if Santa got stuck in the chimney, name someone he might call on his cell phone. Um, I've got nothing. I feel his family. If Santa got stuck in the chimney, name someone he might call on his cell phone. He might call on the Lord. Good answer. Good he answer. might. He might. He might. He might. He might. Oh, he might. He might call on the Lord. That's a good answer. That's a good answer. Good answer. Good hey. Answer. <laughs> I'm going to call on the Lord. On the main line. On the main line. Main line, yeah. You don't really, don't, really don't need a cell phone for that, but we're going to see if it's up there. Call on the Lord. <laughs> Number six. Easter Bunny. For what? <laughs> Number five. If a stripper called himself Santa Claus, name something he might use in his act. A hat. A hat. Santa Claus hat. They don't play. Queen, yes. if a stripper called himself Santa Claus, name something he might use in his act. I'm going to say his beard. His beard. Yeah. <laughs> All right, darling, let's go. If a stripper called himself Santa Claus, name something he might use in his act. Presents, Steve. Presents. Yes, 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 yes. Trevor, if a stripper called himself Santa Claus, name something he might use in his act. Jingle bells. Bells. Yes! Bells! Yes. Oh. Tori, only one strike. If a stripper called himself Santa Claus, name something he might use in his act. I'm going to say elves. Steve. Elves. Yes. <laughs> I would love to see that. I would be, I would be hollering laughing. Kai, if a stripper called himself Santa Claus, name something he might use in his act. Songs. Like a Christmas song. Yes. Huh? A Christmas song. You all. Uh, you ain't never been to a strip club, have you? I have been to a strip club. You been to a strip I, club? That's my mom, but I have. You been to a strip club? Yes. Did you hear any <laughs> Christmas songs while you were saying? No. I'm just saying, you know, I jingle bells and stuff like that don't really go. Come on, go Singing ahead. Christmas carols. <laughs> now, Queen, we got two strikes now. Be careful, the child's got family it. can steal. If a stripper called himself Santa Claus, name something he might use in his hand. North Pole! Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> Good Prayed over the man. Oh, oh, you're not done. No. Dog, your mama just. <laughs> <laughs> what you can't. What is. That's. Good answer. What is... <laughs> I'm scared. Hey. Get it, mom. Trevor, mama and him said the North Pole. <laughs> I am a praying woman, Miss see? Steve. I went straight down there to Trevor and said, dog, did you hear what your mama just said? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. Here we go. If a stripper, you got two strikes, you got to be careful. Child's family can steal. If a stripper called himself Santa Claus, name something he might use in his act. A sleigh. All right. A sleigh! Good. 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 Come on, ladies. If a stripper called himself Santa Claus, name something he might use in his act. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer! Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer! Eight. Seven.
seven. Candy Name something Christmassy a stripper might wear at a strip club called the North Pole. Tinsel. Tinsel. Reindeer antlers. Reindeer. Reindeer antlers. Pass the play. Look play. Can you name something Christmassy a stripper might wear at a strip club called the North Pole? Steve, I think she's gonna wear a Santa suit. A Santa suit? Yeah, good Been there. Yes. Yes. yes, sir. Oh, this is gonna be a tough. Yeah, one. yeah, we about to, <laughs> we about to find out a couple things about the honor student now. <laughs> uh, Corey, Corey, Corey. Woo, this is a tough spot, baby. You ready? <laughs> I think so. Name something Christmassy a stripper might wear at a strip club called the North Pole. How about elf shoes? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shoes. Well, you ready to play, Cody? I'm ready to play. Name something Christmassy a stripper might wear at a strip club called the North Pole. Man, I really didn't want to be the one to say this. I'm gonna have to say strap on. <laughs> This boy right here <laughs> just got out of college. <laughs> this boy's education is complete. <laughs> this boy done got a stripper with a strap on. <laughs> well, let me tell you something. I done been to strip... Well, I ain't never been to strip club. <laughs> <laughs> strap on! <laughs> I didn't say it. He said <laughs> I played it safe. <laughs> he went weird. <laughs> we, well, we tried he, to warn you, Steve. He went way weird. <laughs> this boy crazy. Ain't nobody he gonna do that. Call. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. We got one strike. Name something Christmassy a stripper might wear at a strip club called the North Pole. She's gonna wear some Christmas bows. Christmas Get bows. <laughs> All right, we got two strikes now. We gotta be careful, Kyle. The Porter family can steal. Name something Christmassy a stripper might wear at a strip club called the North Pole. Some, uh, some, uh, candy cane underwear. Yeah, come on, boy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Now we're talking. Yeah, yeah. Come on now. This is a man that done been to a strip club. <laughs> candy cane underwear. Uh -oh. <laughs> Bring it on home, boy. <laughs> Name something Christmassy a stripper might wear at a strip club called the North Pole. Jingle bells. Boy, shut up. <laughs> Jingle bells. Yeah. <laughs> <Woo>. <laughs> <laughs> Corey, <laughs> it's a bad spot for you. Yeah. Young man, two strikes. Porter family can steal. Your daddy said jingle bells. <laughs> your other brother said the candy cane draws. You gotta really let your mind go now, Corey. <laughs> Come on, man. What you been doing on your computer? <laughs> Come on, boy. <laughs> On that computer, save your family, Corey, name something Christmassy a stripper might wear at a strip club called the North Pole. She's gonna wear a tree topper on her head. <laughs> Good answer, Corey. Good answer. Tree, tree topper. <laughs> Thank you.
Love Senior. Name something Christmassy a stripper might wear at a strip club called the North Pole. We gonna go with some Christmas lights, Steve. Yeah. Christmas lights. <laughs> Six. <laughs> Name a phrase Santa Claus uses a lot that he might say during a romp in the bedroom. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Watch out, little summer. Watch out, little summer. Ho, ho, ho. We're gonna play. They're gonna play. Mark, uh, name a phrase Santa Claus uses a lot that he might say during a romp in the bedroom. He might say, will you drive my sleigh tonight? Will Woo! you drive my sleigh tonight? I it like that, boy. Right. Oh, it ain't up there, but it's a good one. Will you drive my sleigh tonight? <laughs> that was a good one, though. Shannon, that was real good. name a phrase Santa Claus uses a lot he might say during a romp in the bedroom. I'm gonna say, have you been a good little girl? Have you been a good little girl? <laughs> Benjamin, give me a phrase Santa Claus used a lot he might say during a romp in the bedroom. Up, 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 and away. <laughs> <laughs> he might say that. I don't say that, but he might say that. I like that one, boy. <laughs> <laughs> up, 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 and away! <laughs> Joe, we gotta be careful now. We got two strikes that Sassini family can steal. Give me a phrase Santa Claus uses a lot that he might say during a romp in the bedroom. I'm gonna say, what do you want for Christmas, Steve? What do you want for Christmas? Summer two strikes. Again, you gotta be careful. Sassini family could steal. Name a phrase Santa Claus uses a lot. He might say doing a romp in the bedroom. I'm always watching you. <laughs> I'm always watching you. <laughs> family name a phrase Santa Claus uses a lot that he might say doing a romp in the bedroom. Steve, I think he said, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas! Number five. Oh, no. <laughs> Number four. Oh, look at me. If Santa Claus got pulled over by the police, name something they might search. His sleigh. His sleigh. His belly. His belly. We're going to play, we're going to play, Steve. We're going to play. Tracy, Santa Claus got pulled over by the police. Name something they might search. The North Pole. <laughs> His house. Good answer, good answer. So, so let, me, let me ask you this right okay. here. Okay. So, Santa Claus gets pulled over. Now, chances are, if they pull him over, he gonna be on his that's, sleigh. That's true. No, no, dude, dude, I just wanna walk through this here. <laughs> and so, when the police stop him, mm -hmm. they gonna ride all <laughs> the way back to the North Pole <laughs> and search his house. All right, let's go see. <laughs> let's go see who wants to ride all the way back. Got stopped in downtown Atlanta. <laughs> they gonna fly all the way back. Ain't no telling where the damn North Pole at. Cause ain't nobody been there. But we gonna go all the way back to the North Pole and go in his house. Gotta wake up Miss Santa and all this here. Catch all that hell and go, go, go search the North Pole. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, baby. I'll pick you up. I'll pick if you up. Santa Claus got pulled over by the police, name something they might search. Toys. Search for toys. Yeah! Erica, 
See, you back, Jamie. If Santa Claus got pulled over by the police, name something they might search. The reindeer. Search the yeah. reindeer. Good answer. Oh. Camille, we got two strikes. You gotta be careful. The Gargione family can steal. His hat. They look under his hat. Yeah, they look yeah. under his hat. One answer left to Quincy. If it's there, you clear the board. But you got two strikes. The Gargione family can steal. Santa Claus got pulled over by the police. Name something they might search. They want to know what's in that beard, Steve. Yeah. They want to know what's in that beard. <laughs> Give me Monique. Give me Gabrielle. You don't want it. Okay. You don't want it. Okay. All right. Okay. Come on. Okay. I just had to tell her that. Okay. Because, right? You know, I've got anxiety issues. I'm glad. I'm glad. Yes. I want her to go through everything right now. Go through everything. I want, that's a strategy. <laughs> All right, ladies, here we go. Top six answers on the board. We asked 100 men, name something you want for Christmas that's too big to get down the chimney. Car. A car. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we're gonna play. I'm yeah. playing with them. <laughs> Monique said, I'm playing with them. They winning. I think their buzzer's working. I think their buzzer's Hey, Kimberly, yes. we, uh, we talked to 100 men. Yeah, name something you want for Christmas too big to get down the chimney. A boat. Oh. A boat? Oh. 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 Romney, we asked 100 men, name something you want for Christmas that's too big to get down the chimney. Okay. <laughs> Come on, Rob. Let's see. How about a house? A house. There we go. Ooh. Good answer. Good answer. Come on. Yeah. Okay. Come on. Yeah. Right? Yeah. What? Yeah. A house! <laughs> 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 We are giving rich people These answers. are things rich people buy each other for Christmas. Y'all sitting up in here, y'all don't even know where the answer coming from. Rich people buy houses, boats for Christmas. Y'all sitting out here going, what? A house? And he trying to figure out what, a house. But everybody cool with it though. Yeah, yeah, they're good at it. Omar, come on, mess them up real good. We talked to 100 men. Name something you want for Christmas that's too big to get down the chimney. An outdoor grill. Good answer! Yeah. 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 Outdoor grill! Yeah. Pat, right. name something you want for Christmas that's too big to get down the chimney. I got it, Steve. A new TV. Yes. Brand new TV. Brand new TV. A new TV. Yes. Gabrielle, we got two strikes. We got to be careful. The Talbot family can steal. A lawnmower. Yes. Yeah. That's a great That's answer. That's a good answer. A great answer. Great answer. Now, me, I think you went too normal. <laughs> I think, Gabrielle, I think you went too normal, Gabby, because. I'm from Nebraska. Like, a lawnmower is a reasonable gift. <laughs> Gonna buy D Wade a lawnmower. <laughs> I want to see that. Yeah, yeah, here we go. It. We asked 100 men, name something you want for Christmas that's too big to get down the chimney. Now, now this may get me in trouble with my wife, but we going with another woman. Let's do it. <laughs> and not me personally. Not, not me personally. something Mrs. Claus would hate to find when cleaning Santa's suit. Lingerie. Lingerie. <laughs> Lipstick. Lipstick. We're gonna play. 
Miss Dyson, yes. name something Mrs. Claus would hate to find when cleaning Santa's suit. Another woman in there. An <laughs> another <laughs> another <laughs> woman in there. <laughs> You need to name something Mrs. Claus would hate to find when cleaning Santa's suit. I'd say a earring or jewelry. A earring. <laughs> Crystal, you got to be careful now. We got yeah. two strikes. The sham shooting family can steal a telephone number. A telephone <laughs> number. Keita, we gotta be careful. They other family could steal. Name something Miss Claus would hate to find when cleaning Santa's suit. She would hate to find food where he's been eating. Food! <laughs> we got two strikes, Rufus. We gotta be careful. And judge about the look on your face. I'm, I'm gonna head on over there. <laughs> Uh, we got two nervous. strikes. Got you, got Name something Miss Claus would hate to find when cleaning Santa's suit. Take your time, Rufus. I'm gonna... Oh. <laughs> uh, some uh, high heels. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Rufus, it's all right. Don't keep your head up. Thank you. But do take that hopeful look off your face. <laughs> Keep hope alive. Huh? Keep hope alive. Keep hope alive. <laughs> All right, well, let's try it then. All right. Good answer, good answer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. High heels. Mrs. Claus would hate to find when cleaning Santa's suit. Well, Steve, if I was Miss Claus, I would hate to find booze because he'd be driving drunk. Hey. Booze! <laughs> Number seven. something Santa might do right after having a pot brownie at Snoop Dogg's house? Drink. Drink. You gonna play, Steve? You gonna play. I know y'all want to win the money, but I'm gonna ask you something. Yes, now, sir. I was here for the last fast money round. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, PJ, you got 54 points. That, that's right. Woo! Five answers. Yes, sir, I did. We gotta change that to get to the 20. Okay. Yes, sir. We gonna do Step it. it we gonna do it. Now, the way I think to change that, okay, I would change people. Okay. <laughs> If it was my family, okay. once you go out there and get 54, 54 rhymes with no mo. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> Shamaya? Yes. I got it right? You got it right. Okay, name something Santa might do right after having a pot brownie at Snoop Dogg's house. Uh, he might take a nap, Steve. Take a nap. <laughs> yeah, he will. <laughs> Uh, Pastor Paul, uh, name something Santa might do right after having a pot brownie at Snoop Dogg's house. Might jump back on his route. Jump back on his route. <laughs> Queen Donna, name something Santa might do right after having a pot brownie at Snoop Dogg's house. Get a designated driver. <laughs> <laughs> 
I had never yeah. needed one, but... Get a designated driver. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's all right. All right, Cordell, after Santa might uh, do, what, what might Santa do after having a pot brown at Snoop Dogg's house? Well, at Snoop Dogg's house, he ain't used to it. He might die, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> That's a whole nother level right there. <laughs> Did he just kill Santa Claus? <laughs> I sure hope the kids ain't watching. <laughs> Santa Claus died at Snoop House. <laughs> oh. PJ, we got to be careful now. We got two strikes. Listen to me, man. The witch drunk family can steal. Name something Santa might do right after having the pot brown at Snoop Dogg's house. Mm. I'm going to say smoke. <laughs> oh, got you. <laughs> well, you back. I'm back. <laughs> Smoke, smoke. <laughs> hey, Emily, okay. name something Santa might do right after having a pot brownie at Snoop Dogg's house. He's going to unwrap all the presents. <laughs> <laughs> unwrap all the presents. Hey. <laughs> Six. Five. <laughs> Three. <laughs> Name something at the North Pole the elves might play with when Santa's not around. Reindeer. Reindeer. The toys. The toys. They're gonna play. Play, 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 play. All right, Dante. Name something at the North Pole the elves might play when Santa's not around. Steve, I'm gonna say they might play with Miss Claus. Right. Oh. 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 oh, the little elves trying to get killed. <laughs> play it with Miss Claus. Yes. Hello, darling. Hello. All right, name something that North Pole the elves might play with when Santa's not around. Steve, I'm going to say the penguins. The penguins. Hey, Erica, what do you do? I'm a police officer with the Prince George's County Police Department. Are you out in the field? I am. Yeah, I run a community-oriented policing squad. So we work with youth in the community mainly. Wow, yeah. that's good. <laughs> Be careful out there. Thank you. Name something at the North Pole the elves might play with when Santa's not around. I'm going to say Santa's suit. Okay. suit. Santa's suit. Santa. 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 Oh. Hey, hey, come on. Salah, we got two strikes. Hey, we got this. We, we got, got this. to be careful, got man. This. Be careful. Name something at the North Pole the elves might play with when Santa's not around. I'm going to say the sleigh, Steve. The sleigh. Hey. <laughs> Colleen, name something at the North Pole the elves might play with Santa's not around. You got to be careful. You got two strikes. Steve, I'm going to say maybe themselves. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> listen to me. For those of you with gutter minds, <laughs> what she's talking about is the elves play amongst themselves. Yes. Not with they say. <laughs> Santa ain't here. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Santa Claus gone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Y'all ready? <laughs> themselves. <laughs> Two strikes. You got to be careful, Dante. Name something at the North Pole the elves might play with when Santa's not around. I'm going to say the ice. The ice. <laughs> 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 
Allison, now a lot of the kids is watching. <laughs> yes, they are. They'll be watching this episode right here. They're watching. Really be helpful for the teacher to know an answer that's, <laughs> that's on the board. If you don't do this, you're gonna lose a lot of points with the preschool teacher. Yeah. Because rumor gonna get out that our teacher don't know nothing. <laughs> Now, it's the last answer, which is the hardest one, but it sure be nice if you could pull this out for the kids. Mm. Two strike. Name something at the North Pole that the elves might play with when Santa's not around. I would say they would play with the polar bears. <laughs> Come here, suicide play with the damn polar bears. <laughs> Name something at the North Pole the elves might play with when Santa's not around. This is a tough one to get. I think we got it, though, Steve. I'm gonna say the naughty or nice list. Yeah! The naughty or nice list. <laughs> there is no way I would have got that. If Santa Claus joined a dating site, what might he brag to the ladies that he has? A lot of presents. A lot of presents. <laughs> Pass the plate. Here we go, Sonia, if Santa Claus joined the dating site, <laughs> what might he brag to the ladies that he has? He has a lot of rides, like the elves. He has a ride for him, you know. Okay. So they have elves riding some. <laughs> so the elves, some in the some dude elves riding some. <laughs> Santa Claus joined the dating site. What might he brag to the ladies that he has? Maybe his reindeer, Steve. His reindeer. <laughs> Brandon, if Santa Claus joined the dating site, what might he brag to the ladies that he has? It's North Pole, Steve. <laughs> his North Pole. <laughs> Shanae, Santa Claus joined the dating site. What might he brag to the ladies that he has? That he is, he has some elves, Steve. <laughs> he got some friends, some <laughs> extra, multiples. He got elves. <laughs> Tracy, Santa Claus joined the dating site. What might he brag to the ladies that he has? He has a lot of free time. A lot of free time. <laughs> I thought Santa Claus was busy all year long. Free time. Oh. All right, Sonia, we got two strikes. We got to be careful. Granger family can steal. Uh, he brags to the ladies that he have houses to take them to. <laughs> he got houses to take them to. Oh. If Santa Claus joined the dating site, what might he brag to the ladies that he has? A good job. Yeah. He's got a good job. <laughs> Number seven. Five. Ho, ho, ho. Five. If Mrs. Claus discovered on Christmas Eve that Santa had been cheating on her, name something she might do that could mess up his night. Take the reindeer. Take the reindeer. <laughs> okay. For the sake of time, I'm gonna read this one time. If Mrs. Claus discovered on Christmas Eve that Santa had been cheating on her. 
Name something she might do that could mess up his night. Uh, she could mess with the gifts. Mess with the gifts. <laughs> Name something she might do that could mess up his night. Mess up his sleigh. Woo! Mess up his sleigh. <laughs> Mike, name something she might do to mess up his night. She could hide Santa's suit. Hide yeah! Santa's suit. <laughs> Noah, something yep. she could do that could mess up his night. Uh, take away the uh, kids' names list. Woo! Yeah. Yep. Take away the list. Mimi, name something she could do that could mess up his night. She's gonna take away... Oh, gosh. His... his cell phone. <laughs> Good answer! Good answer! Good answer! <laughs> Might not mess up Santa's night, but it sure mess yours up. <laughs> cell phone! Oh. Dad named something she might do that could mess up his night. Uh, she could sleep with his best friend. <laughs> sleep with his best friend. Oh. Come on, Nene. Come on, Nene. You can do it. <laughs> I'll show you. I'm gonna sleep with the Easter Bunny. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm gonna have your boy hop on over here. <laughs> Two strikes. We gotta be careful now. Reed family can steal. Tell me something she might do could mess up his night. I have this one. Take away his elves. Take oh. away the elves! Oh. All right, if Mrs. Claus discovered on Christmas Eve that Santa had been cheating on her name, something she might do that could mess up his night. We're gonna say cut off his beard. Woo! Cut off his beard! <laughs> Seven. Six. Seven. Name a part of your body you could use to play jingle bells. Hands. Your hands. <laughs> That's the, let me see how you do that. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. <laughs> Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Hey! Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Hey! 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 Miss Denise, name a part of your body you could use to play jingle bells. Hips, Steve. Okay, watch out now, Miss. Okay, Good answer. okay, play it. Good answer. Play it. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. <laughs> hey, hey, man. Hey, Jeffrey. Jeffrey, did you just do like this? All right, now. Yeah. Hey. Yeah, jingle bells. Jingle them bells. turn around and went, yeah. Yeah, Django bells, Django bells. We need to, yeah. Your hips. Oh. Jeff, name a part of your body you can use to play jingle bells. Your legs. Your legs? All right, let's see it. Oh, no, oh, no. Come on, come on. You got to do this. I got some real nice legs. Yeah, okay, yeah. Well, go ahead and do it. Jingle bell. <laughs> Your legs. Oh. Rock, be careful. Part of your body you could use to play jingle bells. Your mouth. Your mouth. Oh. Your mouth. Jeffrey, we got two strikes. Got to be careful. The Duplissy family can steal. <laughs> Jeff, name a part of your body you could use to play jingle bells. Your feet. Your feet. Name a 
part of your body you can use to play jingle bells. Your armpit. Good answer. Good answer. Your armpit. Seven. No. Six. Jingle balls. <laughs> Number five. Seven. Three. <laughs> Instead of the fireplace, name something a child would be surprised to see Santa come out of. Bathroom. The bathroom. <laughs> Mom's bedroom. Mom's bedroom. Uh, what are we doing? We play. We play. All right, Rock. Instead of the fireplace, name something a child be surprised to see Santa come out of. Uh, Toys R Us. <laughs> you know, Rock, the object of this game, I know since you got that last answer, he blind. So I figure you just, all your answers are just gonna be the one two people says. <laughs> Now you just said towards us. I'm up there. If that answer is up there. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Hey man, let me tell you something. <laughs> I'm gonna lean over, I'm gonna let you slap me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna lean over, I'm gonna let you slap me. <laughs> Toys R Us! <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jeffrey. Only one strike. Instead of fireplace, name some child. Be surprised to see Santa come out of. Coming out of the closet. Yeah. Come out the closet. <laughs> Terry, instead of fireplace, a child be surprised to see Santa come out of. The front door. The front okay. door. Mr. Nice, instead of the fireplace, a place a child be surprised to see Santa come out of. The window. The window! <laughs> that was a good answer. Good. Jeff, come on, man. We gotta take it easy now. We got two strikes. William family can steal. Instead of the fireplace, name something a child be surprised to see Santa come out of. I, I would be surprised to see Santa come out of the chimney. I'm gonna sit here all night long. I bet, I bet to hell he better not come out this chimney. Yeah. Oh, I don't care about all them stories and all that. I know he better not come out this chimney. <laughs> Santa Claus coming down the chimney, little Jeff. Where? <laughs> the chimney? Why would he be coming down the chimney? <laughs> y'all when I first, I first introduced him. I said, this is Jeff, man, nice guy. Can't play with a damn. I said, I said that. I said that. I said that. The gold sip is up that chimney. Oh <laughs> Instead of the fireplace, name something a child be surprised to see Santa come out of. I think a child would be surprised to see Santa come out of a car. <laughs> a car! <laughs> <laughs> Number five. Oh, so. Three. At Christmas, name a decoration a wife might wear in the bedroom with nothing else on. Santa Claus outfit. Santa Claus outfit. I'm gonna say so, a bow. A bow. They don't play. <laughs> Livonia, at Christmas, name a decoration a wife might wear in the bedroom with nothing else on. About reindeer ears. 
That didn't sound right when she said it. I didn't. Reindeer ears. <laughs> hey, Courtney, at Christmas, name a decoration a wife might wear in the bedroom with nothing else on. Steve, I'm going to say the Christmas lights. The lights. <laughs> Hey, yeah. Fawn, at Christmas, name a decoration that my wife might wear in the bedroom, nothing else on. Steve, I'm going to say mistletoe. Yeah. Mistletoe. Yeah. 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 Come on, Nick. <laughs> at, at Christmas, name a decoration that my wife might wear in the bedroom, nothing else on. I'm going to say tinsel. All right. Tinsel. Yeah. Yeah. Al, let me tell you something, man. Yes, sir. This is your chance to get an answer. Mm -hmm. Here it is. You ready? Yes. Come on, Al. At Christmas, name a decoration the wife might wear in the bedroom with nothing else on. How about a wreath? Al, Al, we might, we might get one. A wreath. Livonia, only one strike at Christmas. Name a decoration wife might wear in the bedroom and nothing else on. An elf suit. All right, good night. An uh, elf outfit. <laughs> All right, Courtney, we got two strikes. The Hemert family can steal. At Christmas, name a decoration my wife might wear in the bedroom and nothing else on. Wrapping paper. Yeah! yeah. Wrapping paper! Yeah. All right, family, at Christmas, name a decoration the wife might wear in the bedroom and nothing else on. We're going with jingle bells. Jingle bells! <laughs> Number five. <laughs> A man would hate to hear his child say, I saw mommy kissing Santa Claus just like she kisses who? Your brother. Yo, brother. Next door neighbor. Next door neighbor. We're playing, Steve. We're going to play. Okay, now. Well, Pasquale, let's go. A man would hate to hear his child say, I saw mommy kissing Santa Claus just like she kisses who? Your best friend. Your best friend. Good answer. Good answer. Oh. That was a good answer. Giuseppe, what do you do? I uh, recently graduated medical school, so I'm proud to say I just became a doctor. Oh, okay, that's cool. Giuseppe, a man would hate to hear his child say, I saw mommy kissing Santa Claus just like she kisses who? The dreaded pool boy. The pool boy. <laughs> Alessandro. Yes, yeah. What do you do? I'm also training to be a doctor. I'm in my third year of medical school. Hey, that's really good. <laughs> Alessandro, a man would hate to hear his child say, I saw mommy kiss Santa Claus just like she kisses who? Kisses the co-worker. The co-worker. <laughs> All right, we got to slow down now, Michael. We got two strikes. Rickerson family can steal. A man would hate to hear his child say, I saw mommy kiss Santa Claus just like she kisses who? The mailman. Yeah. The mailman. Yeah. Rika, two strikes. We gotta be careful. The other family can steal. A man would hate to hear his child say, I saw mommy kiss Santa Claus just like she kisses who? I'm gonna say Uncle Bob. Well. 
He comes, he, he comes around often. It's Uncle. Yeah. <laughs> uncle Bob's really not your uncle. <laughs> so, so. Uncle Bob! Pasquale, two strikes, you gotta be careful of. Other family can steal. Man would hate to hear his child say, I saw mommy kissing Santa Claus just like she kisses who? The policeman. The, po <laughs> the police! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah. A man would hate to hear his child say, I saw mommy kissing Santa Claus just like she kisses who? You. Look, I understand loving your dog. <laughs> I think you should love your dog. They're great pets. And dogs are great. Stop kissing your dog. <laughs> In the mouth. <laughs> All of you. <laughs> Number three. No Name something a man might decorate his beard with at Christmas time. Glitter. Glitter. Lights. Lights. They both have 11. His was first, so he controls. Woo! Play. 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 Yeah, that's right. All right, Christina, name something a man might decorate his beard with at Christmas time. I would say a tree ornament. Like an an ornament. ornament. There he is. Yeah. Hey, Brian, some man might decorate his beard with at Christmas time. I'm gonna say uh, Santa hat. Oh. Good answer. Good answer. Yeah. Stick it right on there. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Good answer. Get support from your brother. <laughs> That's my uncle. Uncle. <laughs> Looks just like your brother. You get that a lot. <laughs> Santa hat! <laughs> Jonathan? Yep. Name something a man might decorate his beard with at Christmas time. I'm gonna say mistletoe. Mistletoe. Oh, good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Yeah. Angie, name something a man might decorate his beard with at Christmas time. What about tinsel? Tinsel. Some man might decorate his beard with at Christmas time. Cookies. Yep. <laughs> I bet that's up there. <laughs> Cookies. <laughs> Christine, name some a man might decorate his beard with at Christmas time. I'm gonna say a tree. <laughs> <laughs> That could, but you know, it could be. It yeah. could be you know, like a air freshener trees you put in your car. There you go. Yeah. Just yeah. hang a bunch of them on there. <laughs> Pine scented. <laughs> Christmas tree. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Brian, we got two strikes. Gallup family can steal. All right, I'm going to say uh, snow. Snow. Pack some snow into it. <laughs> Man, we could clear this board, what else left? Tough to get the last one, though, Jonathan. Yeah. Two strikes, Gallant family could steal. Some man might decorate his beard with at Christmas time. Uh, maybe a stocking. A stocking? That's good. Oh, it's all right, it's all right, it's all right. Name something a man might decorate his beard with at Christmas time. We're gonna go with red bows. Bows! Oh, yes. Yes. If Santa went to a bar, who might be his wingman? Rudolph. Rudolph. Jennifer, 
Santa went to a bar. Who might be his wingman? Uh, the Easter Bunny. The Easter Bunny. There's no way I would have ever guessed that. <laughs> Santa went to a bar. Who might be his wingman? How about Mrs. Claus? Yeah, good answer. Mrs. Claus. Julie, if Santa went to a bar, who might be his wingman? His favorite elf. His favorite elf. Nice. Well, here where the answers get interesting at. <laughs> Cynthia, if Santa went to a bar, who might be his wingman? I'm gonna say... Uh, let's go with... The other elf. Oh. They say not in enough time. Okay. It's okay. It's just, it's only one strike. Okay. Jenna, if Santa went to a bar, who might be his wingman? I'm gonna say the Tooth Fairy. Yes. The Tooth Fairy. Oh. I mean, look, hey, if Easter Bunny was up there, had a shot. Jennifer, gotta be careful. Oh, here we are. Two strikes. Santa White family can steal now. If Santa went to a bar, who might be his wingman? Um, Chucky. Chucky? <laughs> 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 I, I mean, well, Santa gives a lot of dolls away, so maybe he just takes. But why them would away. he bring this little evil bastard with him? Pick up the barn. I don't know. Oh, I just got. A What's Santa gonna do? Walk in with Chucky? All right. Either I get a date or he gonna kill everybody in here. Hey, Jamal. Chucky the dog. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. If Santa went to a bar, who might be his wingman? We're gonna go with Frosty the Snowman. Frosty the Snowman. Tell me the name of one of Santa's reindeer a male exotic dancer might use as a stage name. Blitzen. Blitzen. Prancer. Prancer. Tell me the name of one of Santa's reindeer male exotic dancer might use. That's oh, thing. Steve, this is gonna be it. Cupid. Cupid. Yeah. Hey, Eliana, tell me the name of one of Santa's reindeer male exotic dancer might use as a stage name. What about Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer? Well, that'll work. Yeah. Rudolph. Marissa, tell me the name of one of Santa's reindeer male exotic dancer might use a stage name. Um, Sparkles. <laughs> sparkle, Sparkle, Sparkle the stripper. That was stripper name, Sparkle. Sparkle. <laughs> Keith, tell me the name of one of Santa's reindeers a male exotic dancer might use as a stage name. Donner. Donner. All right, we got two strikes, family. You got to be careful. Price family could steal. Give me the name of a Santa's reindeer a male exotic dancer might use as a stage name. A uh, dancer. Isn't that a donner, a, dan a prancer, dancer, a dancer? Is a dancer one of them? Dancer, yeah. Yeah. Hey, Jen, hey there. tell me the name of one of Santa's reindeer, the male exotic dancer might use that stage name. How about Dasher? Dasher. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Yeah. 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 Eliana, now, mm -hmm. if you get this for me, <laughs> if you just get this one, Marissa's gonna have another yeah. chance. <laughs> Sparkle already <laughs> wasn't up there. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I can't wait. Please get this.
Please. Uh, I think Vixen. Yeah! Oh, yeah! Vixen! Yeah. <laughs> All right, well... <laughs> so come on, give me another All one. Right. Tell me the name of one of Santa's yeah. reindeers, a male exotic yeah, dancer. Give me a little hint. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I got it. Okay, okay, listen to me. I, I think it's 12 of them. <laughs> We've only got eight so far. No, I'm giving her a hit. And they're, they're, they look like deer. <laughs> and they have antlers. All of them have antlers. And they can fly. <laughs> and it's 12 of them. We've only named seven of them. We just need one more. Let me take some pressure off. It's the last answer. They got to guess what that is. Do they look like they know what the damn name is? Uh, you know, Steve, I, I think they might that, know what it is. <laughs> With the exception of Chandra, they just look like a football team. <laughs> they just over there. Just look at them. They're just a bunch of linemen. They don't know the name. Take the pressure off All of right. you, Marissa, and don't even just fire one of those reindeer's names mm. off. Say it. Santa's helper. Santa's helper. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me the name of one of Santa's reindeer that a male exotic dancer might use as a stage name. Oh, oh my bad. They, 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 boy, this gonna be good. Don't even worry about this, Marissa. <laughs> Come on, man. We like to say comment. something about Santa Claus that might make him a chick magnet. His beard. His beard. Woo! Hey, hey. Okay. Jim, name something about Santa Claus. Now, this, you gotta get this. It's seven answers up there. <laughs> name something about Santa Claus that might make him a chick magnet. He brings Gifts. Woo! Yeah! Gifts! Now what? Now what, Steve? Now what? Yeah, yeah you right, Jim. Oh, you got a good one there. Oh, but we got eight shots. We'll be back. <laughs> oh, don't worry. Hey, Miss Elizabeth, oh, name wow. something about Santa Claus to make, make him a chick magnet. His suit, Steve. Yeah. His suit. Tanisha, name hey. something about Santa Claus that might make him a chick magnet. He's jolly, Steve. Woo! He's always happy. He's jolly. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Folks, <laughs> that answer right there guarantees me that I'll be right back to him. <laughs> God, I love the way this works. Take your time, Christian. Name something about Santa Claus that might make him a chick magnet. He loved the kids. Yes! Woo! He loved the kids. Yes! 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 Good answer! Good answer, yes. Chris! He yes. loved the kids. Woo! That was a good answer, Chris. That was a good answer. Now, Miss Sharita. You. Now, listen to me. One strike. Name something about Santa Claus that might make him a chick magnet. Well, I'm gonna take a stab at it, Steve. I think he's got a great house at the North Pole! Good answer! Yeah. Woo. 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 A great house at the North Pole! Woo! What's up there? Oh, oh man. All right. Jeremy? Yes, sir. We got two strikes. You gotta be careful. The Mimich family can steal. I'm going to say, Steve, that big old belly. Woo. It's up there. It's up there. It's up there. Hey, baby, you weren't supposed to say that. Hey, you weren't supposed to say that. Here's a chick now. Look at that. They had a little uh, marital dispute. She was rubbing the guy. Yeah, he said, hey, baby, you ain't supposed to say that. <laughs> you know, this is a Santa Claus question. How hard can it be?
Miss Elizabeth, we got yeah. two strikes to mim each family can steal. Name something about Santa Claus that might make him a chick magnet. Those chubby cheeks, Steve. Woo! Those yeah! cherry cheeks. Good answer. Tanisha, Good job, Mom. <laughs> name something about Santa Claus that might make him a chick magnet. His sleigh, Steve. <laughs> His sleigh. <laughs> My man. All right, this is going to be good, Christian. <laughs> this could be a chance. This could be... You could shock the world. Two strikes, the Mimich family could steal. Name something about Santa Claus that might make him a chick magnet. I would say his pet, his reindeer. Good answer! Good answer! Good answer! It's up there. It's up there, Steve. <laughs> reindeer! Oh. All right, ladies. Here we go. Name something about Santa Claus that might make him a chick magnet. He has servants in his elves. In the elves. <laughs> Number six. Name something Mrs. Claus might get from Santa in a divorce settlement. The sleigh. The sleigh. Yeah. The reindeer. The reindeer. Play. Play. Wanda, give me something Miss Claus might get from Santa in the divorce settlement. The house. The house. <laughs> yeah. Good answer. Good answer. Woo! Good answer. Woo! Woo! Yeah. Now, pay attention to that answer. The whole North Pole. <laughs> <laughs> She's stripping Santa. <laughs> or it ain't just the house. It's the whole North Pole. <laughs> Santa fitting to walk out of here with nothing. <laughs> I've actually been Santa Claus before. <laughs> Norman, name something Miss Claus might get from Santa in a divorce settlement. I'm gonna go with his elves. His elves. <laughs> hey, Jessica, name something Miss Claus might get from Santa in a divorce settlement. I'm gonna say his suit. His suit. <laughs> Oh Erica, give me something Miss Claus might get from Santa in the divorce settlement. The good and the bad list. <laughs> the, nice, the, nice and list. the good and the bad list. Oh All right, Norman, we got two strikes. We gotta be careful, man. The Mayo family can steal. The presents. The presents. Got two strikes, my old family can steal. Give me something Miss Claus might get from Santa in divorce settlement. The Christmas trees? The Christmas trees? <laughs> Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Christmas trees. <laughs> All right, here we go. Name something Miss Claus might get from Santa in a divorce settlement. Steve, we're going with the workshop. Go get the workshop. <laughs> All of that's gonna be gone. <laughs> Number six. <laughs> Breaking news. Santa left Mrs. Claus and ran off with the what? The elves. Wow, the elves. <laughs> We're gonna play. Wow. All right, folks, welcome back. This is the rematch. Let's do it. Bobby, breaking news. Santa left Miss Claus and ran off with a what? All the presents. All the presents. <laughs> hey, April, breaking news. Santa left Miss Claus and ran off with a what? The reindeer. Yeah. The reindeer. <laughs> 
Breaking news, Santa left with Miss Claus and ran off with a what? Frosty. Okay. <laughs> Frosty. Hey, Jenny, breaking news, Santa left Mrs. Claus, ran off with a what? All the children. <laughs> good answer, good answer. Left with the children. <laughs> Leanna, breaking news, Santa left with Miss Claus and ran off with a what? With the hot rod sleigh. The sleigh. <laughs> That was a good answer. That's what I was thinking. We got two strikes now, Bobby. Got to be careful. Okay. William family can steal. Breaking news, Santa left Miss Claus and ran off with a what? The Grinch. All right, the Grinch. <laughs> the Grinch. <laughs> can I just go see what James would say? <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> James got the answer. Yes, he does. That y'all voted for. Mm -hmm. yeah, so I can go, Jane, because you my man. So listen to it. Breaking news. San, whatever y'all want to say. Uh -huh. you know. Breaking news. Santa left with Miss Claus and ran off with a what? Cookies. Yeah! Come on, Jane. James, I can't hold you responsible for that because that's what they told you to say. <laughs> so you steal my man, James. That's right. <laughs> Number five. The hell he got to do with Christmas? <laughs> Number three. <laughs> Name something that a woman who's naughty might leave out for Santa. Lingerie. Lingerie. <laughs> Pass the point. We'll play, Steve. We're gonna play, yes, ma'am. <laughs> hey, Cindy, name something that a woman who's naughty might leave out for Santa. A Playboy magazine. Playboy magazine. <laughs> Something that a woman who's naughty might leave out for Santa. A sexy dress. A sexy dress. <laughs> Michael, name something that a woman who's naughty might leave out for Santa. <laughs> uh, some uh, sex toys. <laughs> some sex toys. I'm gonna let y'all write your own jokes on that one. <laughs> Brittany, only one strike. Name something that a woman who's naughty might leave out for Santa. Condoms. <laughs> Good answer. Good answer. Condoms. <laughs> Woo! Woo! All right, Samantha. Name something that a woman who's naughty might leave out for Santa. Some romantic candles. Romantic <laughs> candles. <laughs> All right, Cindy, we got two strikes now. We got to be careful. Price family can steal. Name something that a woman who's naughty might leave out for Santa. KY Jelly? <laughs> <laughs> KY Jelly. <laughs> Name something that a woman who's naughty might leave out for Santa. Steve, we gonna go with alcohol. Alcohol! Some wine. <laughs> Number five. Yeah. Ah. If you made your snowman anatomically correct, name a food you use for his naughty part. Pickle. Pickle. <laughs> Carrot. Carrot. We're gonna play. We're gonna play. 
Dustin, if you made your snowman anatomically correct, name a food you use for his naughty part. I'm gonna go with broccoli. All the kids make a circle going around the snowman, they be looking like... <laughs> Something wrong with Frosty. <laughs> <laughs> My mama say Frosty needs some penicillin. <laughs> Broccoli. <laughs> All right, Jim. If you made the snowman anatomically correct, name a food you use for his naughty part. How about a hot dog? Good a hot dog. Okay, here we go. <laughs> if you made the snowman anatomically correct, name a food you use for his naughty part. Cucumber. Yeah. You like that? Yeah. That's good. <laughs> Are you feeling, like, really confident about that answer? Yes. Mm-hmm. Number one. Yes. How, how much yes. you thinking? Number four. You think it's number four? Mm-hmm. I'm pretty confident. I think I think probably higher than that. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Oh, darn. All right. All right. I got another answer. <laughs> I like to know. She said, probably number four. <laughs> All right, let's try it again. If you made your snowman anatomically correct, name a food you use for his naughty part. Squash. <laughs> you talking about like the yellow one? Like the yellow squash? Whatever color you want it to be. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Miss Sandy. <laughs> Squash! <laughs> Mike, only one strike. If you made your snowman anatomically correct, name a food you'd use for his naughty part. How about a candy bar? Candy bar. <laughs> <laughs> Two strikes now, Jessica. We gotta be careful. McCullough family can steal. If you made your snowman anatomically correct, name a food you use for his naughty part. How about a cheese stick? <laughs> you must be gonna build a little snowman. <laughs> Correct, name Banana. a food you use for his naughty part. Banana! a B word that Mrs. Claus might use to describe Santa? Bad. Bad. <laughs> Pass it down. You gonna play? You gonna play? Okay. Yeah. Cam, give me a B word that Miss Santa Claus might use to describe Santa. A bastard. <laughs> Good answer, brother. Good answer, brother. Good answer, baby. Good answer. Yeah. Devon, yeah. uh, <laughs> give me a B word that Miss Santa Claus might use to describe Santa. I'm gonna go with bearded. Bearded. Yeah. 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 give me a B word that Miss Claus might use to describe Santa. 
I'm gonna say big. Big. Dad, give me a B word that Miss Santa Claus might use to describe Santa. Her baby. Her, Her baby. baby. word Miss Claus might use to describe Santa? What about bubbly? Bubbly. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah! Well, Cam... Well, 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 well. We back. <laughs> Give me a B word <laughs> that Miss Claus might use to describe Santa. I'm gonna say bright, like smart. Yeah. All right. Bright. Right. Uh, All right, we got one answer. You can clear the board, but we got two strikes. Grasso family can steal. I'm going to go ahead and go with beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> tell me a B word that Miss Santa Claus might use to describe Santa. Bold, Steve. We're going with bold. bold. <laughs> Number three. Yeah. Name something Mrs. Claus wants for Christmas that can't be made by the elves. Santa Claus is a... Uh, uh, <laughs> 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 the the well, stuff, the stuff. What is you finna say with Miss Diane up here? <laughs> what is she saying? <laughs> you see Miss Diane standing right here? I'm not saying this. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Miss Diane. Miss <laughs> Diane forgives you. She, she just a little young. She just young. Yes. Yes. She just young, Miss Diane. What, what do you, what you want me? You got it? Santa Claus's stuff. I know your mama didn't raise you better now. <laughs> All right, Elizabeth, come on, let's go. Name something Mrs. Claus wants for Christmas that can't be made by the elves. More reindeer. <laughs> Some, more... Some more reindeer. <laughs> Becca. Name something Miss Claus wants for Christmas that can't be made by the L. I'm gonna go with snowflakes. Yeah! Good answer. Good answer. That's, Good answer. that's, that's <laughs> such a young answer. <laughs> she wants more snowflakes. <laughs> Miss Santa Claus wants more snowflakes. <laughs> uh... Chancy, two strikes. We gotta be careful now. The Mosley family can still name something Miss Claus wants for Christmas that can't be made by the elves. She wants some children. Good answer. Yeah. She wants some children. <laughs> two strikes. Mosley family can still Toria. Name something Miss Claus wants for Christmas that can't be made by the elves. A bigger toy factory. Just, now, before we get this X, just let me ask you a question. <laughs> who, who, who have you heard <laughs> makes the toys at the North Pole? Just out of curiosity. Oh, the elves. <laughs> huh? The elves. Okay. Well, <laughs> so if they want a bigger toy factory, then we have to <laughs> just have to crank it up with the elves a little bit. <laughs> Toy-making factory! <laughs> Name 
something Miss Claus wants for Christmas that can't be made by the elves. I think she wants a vacation somewhere warm. She wants a vacation. Number six. While Santa delivers presents and gets all the glory, what are the elves doing back at the shop? They partying. They partying. <laughs> Pass the play. Play, 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 play. You're gonna play, see? <laughs> Tammy, while Santa delivers presents and gets the glory, what are the elves doing back at the shop? Making more toys. Making more toys. <laughs> Gwen, while Santa delivers presents and gets all the glory, what are the elves doing back at the shop? Cleaning up. Cleaning it up. Yeah. Now, Kano, while Santa delivers presents and gets all the glory, what are the L's doing back at the shop? Fixing slate. <laughs> See, while Santa delivers presents, right. he probably got the sleigh with him. No, fixing other slaves. Fixing other slaves. What, how, what other slaves have you heard about? <laughs> it's one slave. Santa Claus is in one slave. You yeah. finna ruin it for a bunch of kids now. <laughs> Uh, back at the house, fixing the sleigh. <laughs> All right, Cookie. While Santa delivers presents and gets the glory, what are the elves doing back at the shop? Back there, talking about Santa. Back there, talking about Santa. <laughs> hey, Cheryl, while uh -huh. Santa delivers presents and gets the glory, what are the elves doing back at the shop? Sleeping. Sleeping, getting some rest. Right? <laughs> Tammy, only one strike while Santa delivers presents and gets the glory. What are the L's doing back at the shop? Helping Mrs. Claus. Helping <laughs> Mrs. Claus. Yeah. Oh. All right, now, Gwen, we got to be careful. We got two strikes. Now, I have no vested interest in this game to who wins or loses. But if God would, if you would please just give me one of them answers <laughs> so I can hear what Kano next answer gonna be. <laughs> I just want to get to Kano. <laughs> please pull this out some kind of way, lady, so I can hear what his next answer gonna be. All right, I'm gonna try to give it to you, Steve. Okay, when well, Santa delivers presents and gets the glory, what are the elves doing back at the shop? I'm getting their Christmas dinner together. Getting the Christmas getting dinner, dinner together. together. Getting the Christmas dinner together. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Y'all ready? There is a guy. Come on, bud. Come on, Kano. Here we go. Come on, Kano. Shut up! Come on, let's go. Don't worry about it. Shut up! Yeah. I'm ready, Kano. Okay. Come on, I'm finna lay in the flow okay. holler. Come on, Kano, oh don't let God. me down. Come on, Kano. While Santa delivers presents and gets the glory, what are the elves doing back at the shop? Feeding, I mean, feeding reindeers. Oh, Hold on, cousin Kano well, just came to right. you, yes. If Santa is in the sleigh. <laughs> other reindeers? <laughs> what, what other reindeer? <laughs> the ones who are not flying, the ones who can't fly. The babies, the, you're the, the ones trainers. that can't fly. Yeah, the trainers. No, no, you don't, you don't, do you understand what it is? <laughs> it's Donna Bliss and Common Cupid. That's, this, this it. They ain't oh, no more, more flying ass reindeer. Somebody gotta be training? You don't have no trainers? No little reindeers, you know. <laughs> the little ones. You know, the little ones. You know, the little ones, Steve. Kano, <laughs> listen to me. 
L listen to me, Kano. You got any kids, <laughs> Kano? Yes, sir. Okay. Do they think it's a mother reindeer somewhere? <laughs> Probably. Probably. <laughs> Back at the North Pole, <laughs> feeding the extra reindeers. <laughs> that was a good answer. <laughs> While Santa delivers presents and gets the glory, what are the elves doing back at the shop? Taking a break. Taking a break. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good answer. Number seven. Instead of delivering presents, name something bad Santa might do. On Deliver coal. Deliver coal. <laughs> Instead of delivering presents, name something bad Santa might do on Christmas Eve. Not come at all. Not come at all. <laughs> come on, please, Steve. Brittany, instead of delivering presents, name something bad Santa might do on Christmas Eve. Steve, I think he might drink. He might drink. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Armani, instead of delivering presents, give me something bad Santa might do on Christmas Eve. He might forget his Christmas tomorrow. He might forget his Christmas. He go for, he'll forget his Christmas. All right, Jay, one strike. Instead of delivering presents, name something bad Santa might do on Christmas Eve. He may leave horrible presents. Yeah. <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> leave horrible presents. Oh. Come on, Mike. Come on, Mike. All right, Mark. You got this. Come got on. two strikes. Got to be careful now. The Barber family can steal. Instead of delivering presents, name something bad Santa might do on Christmas Eve. He's going to steal the presents. Steal the presents. Oh! All right, Ken, instead of delivering presents, name something bad Santa might do on Christmas Eve. He might uh, swing by uh, Miss Claus's room and not leave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good answer, good answer. Yeah. Santa tripping. We went over there by Miss Santa's room. We went over there and got busy. <laughs> Come on, we got this. Brittany, two strikes. Got to be careful, Bob and family can steal. Instead of delivering presents, name something bad Santa might do on Christmas Eve. He might ride the reindeer. When you say ride the reindeer, <laughs> just how bad is Santa? <laughs> yeah. Ride the reindeer. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of delivering presents, name something bad Santa might do on Christmas Eve. We think he might trash the house, Steve. <laughs> trash the house. <laughs> Number eight. Watch TV. Seven. Number six. Sleep. Five. <laughs> Name something that Santa thinks is sexy about Miss Claus. Her outfit. Her outfit. <laughs> Her elves. Her elves. <laughs> Jade, how yes. you doing? Good, how are you? Good, good, good. What do you do? Well, I'm an independent financial specialist. Really? Yes. Okay, independent financial specialist. You got it. You just watch your money? <laughs> <laughs> no, I help people restore their credit. Oh, that's good. <laughs> well, 
Sterling, you got your hands full, my friend. Yes, sir. You I look do. like the man for the job, though. Oh, yeah, I'm on the job. So just go on and get, what do you do? I'm, I work full time for Time Warner Cable. You oh, know, yeah. I work at Customer Solutions. Uh -huh. That's what I do. That's good. And, you know, yeah. I'm an ex pro player. You know, I played with James you Harden and Westbrook. Ooh, you, you know. nice, ain't you? <laughs> I used to. Yeah, I used to. Woo! That's pretty good. Well, let's play the game. Spell the name something Santa thinks is sexy about Miss Claus. Her glasses. Her glasses. Breezy? Breezy. Like, hey. Like, breezy. <laughs> breezy. Yep. OK, it's got a little style to it, though. <laughs> All right, Breezy, name something Santa thinks is sexy about Miss Claus. Her cooking. Her cooking. <laughs> Name something that Santa thinks is sexy about Miss Claus. Her white curly hair. Her white curly <laughs> hair. <laughs> Miss Jackie, name something that Santa thinks is sexy about Miss Claus. Her blush on her cheeks. Her blush on her cheeks. Jay, name something that Santa thinks is sexy about Miss Claus. Her figure? Her Whoa. figure. <laughs> Sterling, y'all rolling. No strikes, man. Give me something Santa thinks sexy about Miss Claus. Her personality. Her personality. Yeah. <laughs> no strikes. Name something Santa thinks sexy about Miss Claus. Her nurturing spirit. Yeah. <laughs> Her nurturing spirit. <laughs> Only one strike. Name something Santa thinks sexy about Miss Claus. The way she makes love? Do you have any children? I do. Yeah. <laughs> now, when you're telling your kids a story <laughs> of Santa Claus, you think you're gonna be working that in somewhere? <laughs> Maybe not. They could have been doing a lot of practicing. They don't have no practicing. They don't have time. They making toys. <laughs> now, they don't have no time. It's up there. I'm just throwing that out there. <laughs> but you insisted on saying it's up it's, there. It's up there. You know good in hell well. <laughs> yeah. The way she make love. <laughs> All right, we got one answer left, Jackie. You gotta be careful, though. Two strikes drowns family can steal. Name something Santa thinks sexy about Miss Claus. How she wrap gifts. How she oh, wrap yeah. gifts. <laughs> Name something that Santa thinks is sexy about Miss Claus. She loves Christmas. She loves Christmas. <laughs> You wouldn't want to wake up Christmas morning to see your dog doing what? Eating the toys. Eating the toys. Pass the point. We got a play seat. All right, Misha, you wouldn't want to wake up Christmas morning to see your dog doing what? Pooping. Pooping? <laughs> Keith, you wouldn't want to wake up Christmas morning and see your dog doing what? I'm going to say, um, eating Santa's cookies. Eating Santa's cookies. <laughs> well, no, you wouldn't want to wake up Christmas morning and see your dog doing what? Making whoopee with the other dog around the presents. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to see that. 
Get your nasty ass away from the tree. <laughs> Doing the whoopee. Nicole, you wouldn't want to wake up Christmas morning to see your dog doing what? Attacking Santa Claus! Yeah. Attacking Santa Claus! Yeah. Yeah. Only one strike. Mike, you wouldn't want to wake up Christmas morning to see your dog doing what? I would say knocking the tree down. Knocking yeah. the tree down! Yeah. Misha, one strike. You wouldn't want to wake up Christmas morning and see your dog doing what? I would say cleaning himself. Licking himself. <laughs> cleaning himself. Oh. All right, we got two strikes. You got to be careful. Foley's family can steal. Steve, furniture is expensive, so I'm going to say tearing up my furniture. Yeah. Tearing up the furniture. <laughs> All right, family, you wouldn't want to wake up Christmas morning and see your dog doing what? Uh, eating the lights or the ornaments that are on the tree. Eating the lights or the ornaments yeah. on the tree. <laughs> Number eight. <laughs> Number seven. <laughs> Six. Name something red a stripper wears for the Christmas show. Thong. Thong. Play. 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 Well, Mark, in front of the wife and kids, here you go. Oh, boy. <laughs> Name something red a stripper wears for the Christmas show. I'm gonna have to say... Her tattoo. <laughs> Good answer. I don't go to a lot of strip places anymore. I know. Well, that's good. And you're just giving an answer that keeps your family fully intact. That's good. <laughs> Great answer, man. Sometimes, listen, take, take some advice. This is a smart man. This is just a game right here. Sometimes it's best not to know some of these answers. <laughs> Yes, of course. Just say something real ignorant. Her, her red tattoo. <laughs> tattoo! <laughs> Bridget, name something red a stripper wears for the Christmas show. Her lipstick. Her lipstick! <laughs> Luke, oh, I'm sorry, Luke. <laughs> hey, Luke, well, two strikes. If it's there, you're still alive. But you've got two strikes. If it's not there, the other family can steal and play sudden death. Luke, you're a high school student. Here you go. <laughs> Name something red a stripper wears for the Christmas show. Well, it's Christmas, so you got to have some Santa. So I'm saying hat. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Good answer. It's Christmas. You got to have something. The stripper go wear the hat. Christmas. I know. <laughs> you didn't just pull that out of nowhere, Luke. <laughs> yeah, you've been online or something. <laughs> hey, Natalie, two strikes. If it's there, you're still alive, but if it's not, the other family can steal and play sudden death. Name something red a stripper wears for the Christmas show. Red bra. Hey, Natalie! A red bra! <laughs> oh. Family, listen to me. We've got two answers on this board. If either answer's there, your family steals, your family plays sudden death. If it's not there, listen to me, the other family, the Schmidt family, wins the game. Here we go. Name something red a stripper wears for the Christmas show. Heels. <laughs> this is for sudden death. Heels. Great answer. Great answer. 
<laughs> Number four. <Georgia>. Three. Bo <laughs> Ribbon. Name something Santa Claus hopes is waiting for him when he returns on Christmas Eve. Mrs. Claus. Mrs. Claus at the crib. I'm gonna go with some warm, hot cocoa. Warm, hot cocoa. <laughs> Pass the point. We're gonna play Steve. We're gonna play. Dre, name something Santa Claus hopes to wait on him when he returns on Christmas Eve. Hot meal. A hot meal. <laughs> Charlie. Yeah. This is where we start to have the trouble at. <laughs> this is where the answers start dropping off a little bit. <laughs> name something Santa Claus hopes is waiting for him when he returns on Christmas Eve. His reindeer. You uh, are. You know, uh, hey, Charlie, them reindeers is with him. Hey, ho. Pretty much the whole damn time. You know, yeah. <laughs> so every time you see the sleigh, you see them reindeers out in the front. What's up there? Yeah, it's up there. 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 The reindeer. <laughs> Stop clapping, folks. Save it. Here comes another good one. <laughs> Gwendolyn, name something Santa Claus hopes is waiting on him when he returns from Christmas Eve. Hot, hot L. Hot L's. <laughs> oh. What? Let, let me tell you something. In what, what Santa Claus story, y'all? <laughs> what? <laughs> what Christmas story is this? <laughs> Tamika, name something Santa Claus hopes waiting for him when he returns on Christmas Eve. A gift. A what gift, is? wow. Yeah. That was a good answer. <laughs> name something Santa Claus hopes is waiting for him when he returns on Christmas Eve. Well, after being up all night, he's gonna be exhausted, so his bed. A bed. Five. Name a reason Santa Claus might refuse to come down someone's chimney. They're naughty. They're naughty. There's a fire. There's a fire. <laughs> Allison, give me a reason Santa Claus might not come down the chimney. You don't have one. You don't have yeah. one. <laughs> David, give me a reason Santa Claus might not come down the chimney. He might not be able to fit. Might not fit down it. <laughs> Miss Nancy, give me a reason Santa Claus might not come down the chimney. He got bit by the dog as yes, he was coming down. Miss Nancy? <laughs> they took my answers. Oh, they took your answer. Yeah. But, yeah, okay, but let me just ask you this question, though. When the last time you seen a dog in the fireplace? <laughs> Something about a dog. <laughs> Make a name of reason Santa Claus might not come down the chimney. It's not Christmas. <laughs> it's not Christmas. <laughs> All right, Kevin. Name a reason Santa Claus. We got two strikes. Uh, get ready, family. Uh, name a reason Santa Claus might refuse to come down someone's chimney. Because the chimney's closed. The food's closed. The chimney's closed. <laughs> Woo! 
Y'all ready? <laughs> <laughs> this is where the answers get good at that. <laughs> come on, Allison. Name reason Santa Claus might refuse to come down somebody's chimney. He doesn't like them. <laughs> Santa Claus don't like him. <laughs> Name a reason Santa Claus might refuse to come down someone's chimney. There's no milk and cookies! Number three. Tell me why Santa got arrested on Christmas Eve. He was drunk. He was drunk. Tell me why Santa got arrested on Christmas Eve. He was speeding. All he right. was speeding. <laughs> so let's tell me why Santa got arrested on Christmas Eve. He killed one of the deer. Damn. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. He killed one of the deer. My dad deer hunts. It's I kids mean. watching this show. Oh, sorry, guys. You can't sit up here and tell me no Santa Claus killed no damn deer. You asked why he got arrested. Rudolph? <laughs> Ru Rudolph? Oh, my God. <laughs> Rudolph is dead. <laughs> killed a deer. <laughs> Anthony? Tell me why Santa got arrested on Christmas Eve. Had some mad one on him. <laughs> <laughs> it's up there. It's up there. This <laughs> is my favorite player. <laughs> Santa Claus got arrested. Because he has weed on it. <laughs> Tell me why Santa got arrested on Christmas Eve. Breaking and entering. Woo! Santa got arrested for breaking and entering. Miss Jackie, two strikes. Busted family can still. Tell me why Santa got arrested on Christmas Eve. You can do it. Good answer, good answer. <laughs> Tell me why Santa got arrested on Christmas Eve. For stealing cookies, Steve. Stealing cookies. Yes, stealing yes, cookies. Name something Santa Claus might say he wants for Christmas. Cookies. Cookies. <laughs> Pass the play. What y'all want to do? We're going to play. <laughs> CJ, something Santa Claus might say he wants for Christmas. Miss Claus strolling around in a negligee. <laughs> Miss Claus, yeah. yeah. Margo, something Santa Claus might say he wants for Christmas. A new suit, Steve. A new yeah. suit. <laughs> Monica, something Santa Claus say he might want for Christmas. How about the night off? Oh, yeah. The night off. <laughs> Miss Marilyn, something Santa Claus might say he wants for Christmas. I think he's tired of riding around that same old sleigh. He wants something updated and modern and fast. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all notice I came over here and sat down? Because I know Miss Marilyn's answer is going to be long. You know what I think he wants, Steve? I think Santa Claus really, you know, he worked so hard. <laughs> Seemed to me like Santa Claus would want a sleigh, you know, 
something a little more uh, peppy to get around, cause I, I remember, you know, four years ago, he had come through the neighborhood. <laughs> you know, and he stopped across the street at Miss Jackson's house. She was on, <laughs> on top of Miss Jackson's roof, and I was sitting there going, when is he gonna bring his fat ass over here? <laughs> and he just took his time, and it, and the sleigh was just slow, and then when it finally took off, I said, where is his fat ass going? And it had to loop all around so he could pick up speed, cause you know, the sled was slow. So, you know, I think he needs a new sled. A new sled. Let's name something Santa Claus might say he wants for Christmas. He may need some new reindeer. Some new reindeer. Yeah. 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 Oh. CJ, something Santa Claus might say he wants for Christmas. Well, I think he's tired of doing it alone, Steve. I think he wants an assistant. An assistant. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Margo, something Santa Claus might say he wants for Christmas. Another pipe to smoke out of. Good ass. <laughs> Another pipe to smoke out of. Yeah. What up? So that, you know, in case he loses one, he got a backup. A backup pipe? <laughs> what, 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 what's that need enough pipe for? What, 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 you, what you trying to get Santa to smoke? <laughs> Santa got to go see these kids. Margo, Santa Claus can't be high now. <laughs> Man, this family right here just tripping. Man. Santa Claus. Santa Claus need a new pipe. <laughs> All right, Monica, we got two strikes. You gotta be careful of the family can steal. Something Santa Claus might say he wants for Christmas. I, I think Santa would like a makeover. He's been wearing red suit and beard all that time. <laughs> Name something Santa Claus might say he wants for Christmas. A new workshop. A new workshop. <laughs> Number seven. Yeah. Name something Santa Claus might get rid of when he retires. His elves. His elves. The sleigh. The sleigh. Yeah. We're gonna play. The sleigh. All right, Trey. Name something Santa Claus might get rid of when he retires. I don't think he's gonna need that workshop anymore, Steve. We're gonna need the workshop. Oh. Miss, listen. Name something Santa Claus might get rid of when he retires. He's gonna get rid of that suit, Steve. Gonna get rid of that hot suit. Dave, tell me something Santa Claus might get rid of when he retires. Okay, Steve, I'm gonna go with Mrs. Claus. Oh, 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 oh. oh. <laughs> no bueno. Hey, man, y'all mama down there. Y'all need to cut out all this laughing. <laughs> You the same dudes was going, stripper dad. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Claus. Yeah! Jason, only one strike. Name something Santa Claus might get rid of when he retires. Steve, I'm gonna go with that beard. Gonna get rid of that beard, man. <laughs> what you do, honey? I am currently a sophomore at the University of Notre Dame studying biochemistry in order to become a doctor. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Ain't got no jokes for you. <laughs> Everyone else left, you can clear the board. Something Santa Claus might get rid of when he retires. Those reindeer, why is it gonna feed them? Yes, yes. yes. That's a good point. Why he doesn't need them. What you need them reindeer for? Yeah! When 
the boys on Santa's lap, what would he ask for that would make Santa wonder, how old is this kid? A toy truck. A toy truck. Pass the point. Hey, Dana, how you doing? I'm doing fine, Steve. Good. When a boy is on Santa's lap, <laughs> what would he ask for that would make Santa wonder, how old is this kid? For a girlfriend. Ask for a girlfriend. <laughs> How you doing, Steve? Good, good. When the boy's on Santa's lap, what would he ask for to make Santa wonder, how old is this kid? Money. Ooh. Money. All right, Connie, when the boy's on Santa's lap, what would he ask for to make Santa wonder, how old is this kid? Viagra. I'm gonna take my dumb ass on up here. <laughs> I thought I had found somebody with some sense. Oh no. The little boy just asked Santa Claus for some Viagra. It's, it's, it's too much of a bit. Some Viagra. Yes, yes. All right, now, Denise, we got two strikes. You gotta be careful. The other family could steal. When the boy's on Santa's lap, what would he ask for that would make Santa wonder how old is this kid? Beer! Good answer. Good answer. Oh, yes. And the Bustos family can steal. What would a boy sitting on Santa's lap ask for to make him wonder how old is this kid? Candy. Candy, see? Candy. 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 Christmas to me. <laughs> Three. Stop, stop it. Two. Playboy. If you were on Steve Harvey's Christmas list, what do you hope he puts in your stocking? Money. Mm, well, for you. Money. Let's go. We gonna play. Okay. <laughs> Asheray? Yes. Got it. Steve Harvey's Christmas list. What do you hope he puts in your stocking? How about a nice watch? A nice watch. <laughs> Gerard. Yes, sir. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Boy, come on. You on Steve Harvey's Christmas list. What you hope I put in your stocking? Let's go with clothes. Some clothes. <laughs> if you on Steve Harvey's Christmas list, what do you hope he puts in your stocking? Some electronics, some phones, iPads. Electronics. <laughs> electronics. Okay. Okay. If you were on Steve Harvey's Christmas list, what do you hope he puts in your stocking? How about some car keys? Yes. Some car keys? Yeah. <laughs> Got one strike, that's all. If you were on Steve Harvey's Christmas list, what do you hope he puts in your stocking? Some shaving cream, Steve. Hey, uh, folks, let me help you out. You know, when a person gives an answer like this, your job is to clap for it. 
not look at each other and check. <laughs> this is what y'all did. She said shaving cream. <laughs> That's right. Yes. That's right. Support your mother yep. who has given you life. Yes. yes. You stand behind your mother no matter what. Yes. Your mother is the giver of life. You yes. owe her your all in all. Yes. What's your answer again? Shaving cream. <laughs> Yes. Now, she ain't my mama. <laughs> Shaving cream. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Asher Ray, we gotta be careful now. We got two strikes. The Levitin family could steal. If you want Steve Harvey's Christmas list, what do you hope he puts in your stocking? How about keys to a new house? <laughs> keys to a new house. If you want Steve Harvey's Christmas list, what do you hope he puts in your stocking? A vacation. A vacation! <laughs> Number seven. No! <laughs> Four. feel that way, but you saw them four people. <laughs> they want me. <laughs> I'm hot. Back then, they didn't want me. Now I'm hot. They all on me. <laughs> Name something Santa Claus might stop to do while he's delivering presents. Uh, smoke. Smoke? Yeah. Stop and smoke. Eat. Eat. Yeah, we'll play, Steve. We'll play. <laughs> Marilyn, some Santa Claus might stop to do while he's delivering presents. Santa Claus would stop and call Miss Claus. Yeah. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. She's looking for him. Yeah, he gone yeah. all night. You've never been married. No, never. Yeah. A dude gets one night out. <laughs> He's not calling back home. <laughs> nah. Call Miss Santa Claus. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. All right. All right. All right. Sam DeMarlo. Name something Santa Claus might stop to do while he's delivering presents. See his mistress. Ooh, yeah. Stop and see his mistress. It's all right, it's all right. All right, Derek, we got two strikes. We got to be careful, because our family can steal. Something Santa Claus might do while he's delivering presents. Stop and do. He has to go pee. He oh. got to go pee. That's, That's right. right. <laughs> got to go pee. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. George, two strikes. Other family can steal. Some Santa Claus might stop to do while he's delivering presents. Rest, Steve. Stop and rest. Yes, good Man. answer. That's a great answer, baby. Yeah! Woo! Dion, two uh -oh. strikes. The other family can still give me something Santa might stop and do while he's delivering presents. I, he'd stop and open some of those presents. Santa Claus is a thief opening gifts that don't belong to him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, family. Name something Santa Claus might stop to do while he's delivering presents. Feed the reindeer. <laughs> Feed the reindeer. Six. Four. Get a 
Oh, thank you, Lord. Here we go, fellas. Name something you see on the ground that tells you a snowman was here. An angel. Huh? An angel, Steve. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Come on, boy. Yeah. His answer has nothing to do with nothing. Angel. Yeah. <laughs> Sam. A pile of snow, Steve. Pile of snow. Pile of snow. Uh, Solomon. Coal. Eyes are made of coal. Oh, coal. Uh, Christina. His pipe. His pipe. Play. Pass or play? Play, 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 yeah. Steve. Play. <laughs> Five, two, here we go. Name something you see on the ground that tells you a snowman was here. Steve, I'm going to say a scarf. A scarf. Yeah, yeah. Good answer. Mm -hmm. Come on, man. <laughs> Name something you see on the ground that tells you a snowman was here. A carrot. Cool. Carrot. Cool. It don't matter. Come on. Carrot. Yeah. Hey, Phoebe, Phoebe. Name something you see on the ground that tells you a snowman was here. A puddle. A puddle. Yes, that's number two. A puddle. Yeah. <laughs> Folks, she I got it. did the the freak. <laughs> One answer left. Mm -hmm. You have no chance of knowing this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but what I want to hear from you is going to be so good. <laughs> Tell me something that's on the ground that lets you know a snowman was there. Tree branches, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> One answer left, Solomon. Doesn't matter what you say. <laughs> You're the father. <laughs> the hell you know about snowmen anyway. <laughs> broom. Oh, good answer. Good answer. Snowman with the broom. <laughs> Fat two, we got two strikes. There's one after left. You can clear the board. McClinic family can still give me All something right. that will let you know a snowman was here. Steve. I'm gonna go with buttons. Yeah! Buttons. Oh. This is hard one now. I don't, I don't know what this is. Here we go. Here's your chance. Name something you would see on the ground that would let you know a snowman was there. We're gonna say gloves. Number five. Name something Santa might say he wanted to be buried with. Mrs. Claus. Mrs. Claus. His reindeer. The reindeer. Pass the play. We gonna play. We gonna play. Yeah. Miss Deborah, name something Santa might say he want to be buried with. His boots. His boots. Yeah, good answer. <laughs> Corey, something Santa might say he want to be buried with. His toys. All the toys. <laughs> Patrick, here we go, man. Name something Santa might say he wanted to be buried with. His sleigh. Got to get him, put him in the sleigh, baby. Yeah. Rusty, Rusty, something Santa might say he want to be buried with. I'm going to go with cookies and milk, man. Cookies and milk, yeah, man. Yeah. Big yeah. Rusty, yeah. cookies and milk. Yeah. Danielle, give me something Santa might want to be buried with. The elves? Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. The elves. Rolling here. We got no strikes. We got one answer left. It's the last one, usually the hardest one. Give me something Santa might say he want to be buried with. Come on, Ma. His beard. His beard. <laughs> well, right. that's pretty much a given. Well, 
His beard. <laughs> Corey, we got only one strike, man. Give me something Santa might want to be buried with. All the good boys and girls. <laughs> <laughs> It's real dark down on that end, y'all. Them two down there, man. It's you sure soul. you ain't want to bring your family? I should have brought my family, Steve. They only got one strike. You finna get another one of these ass. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get buried with all the good little kids. <laughs> oh, oh, so Come close. on, Prince of Darkness, Patrick. One answer left. Don't let us down. They're gonna still be over there in a minute. Name something Santa might say he wanted to be buried with. <laughs> His favorite stocking. Stocking. Yeah. His favorite stock. Stocking. Uh. This one's hard to get. I don't know how you're gonna get this last one. On. Name something Santa might say he wanted to be buried with. The naughty or nice list. Yeah. The yeah. naughty or nice list. Number eight, watch this. It's mine. Name a Christmas decoration the nudists might put on themselves at Christmas time. Scott. Mistletoe. 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 Real quick, real quick, Steve. All right. All right, Miss Sandy. Name a Christmas decoration the nudists might put on themselves at Christmas time. A uh, big red bow. A big red bow. Yeah. Hey, Michael, what do you do, man? Oh, banquet manager, Bellagio in Las Vegas. Oh, you the banquet manager? Yes, sir. And you the what at the Bellagio? Uh, Futura, <laughs> at Futura at Spago. Oh, okay. Somebody got somebody in. <laughs> yeah, this is called nepotism. <laughs> <laughs> we'll find out more. Michael. <laughs> Name a Christmas decoration nudists might put on themselves at Christmas time. You say a candy cane. <laughs> let, let me ask you a question, Mike. This candy cane. Don't ask that, Steve. No, I'm just. <laughs> ain't with two ways for this. Candy. Well, three ways you can have this candy cane. Yeah. You can hang it on something. <laughs> you can tie it up with something. Or you can tuck it in something. <laughs> Candy cane! Oh. Hey, Kevin, how you doing, man? Good, good my friend. Good, yeah, good. what do you do, man? Uh, I do one of the most exciting things at, in Las Vegas. I'm a craps dealer. <laughs> craps oh, yeah. dealer, baby. That's it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's it. So you work the whole table. <laughs> well, there's three, two other people, but basically I control everything. <laughs> That's pretty good. Kevin, name a Christmas decoration the nudists might put on themselves at Christmas time. I'd say um, tinsel. Tinsel. Come on, Paul, only one strike. Name a Christmas decoration the nudists put on themselves at Christmas time. Steve, I think they're gonna put on those Christmas lights, those bright Christmas lights. They gotta Christmas put some lights. lights on, baby, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Scott, give me some uh, Christmas decoration the nudists to put on themselves. Uh, I'm gonna say, you can't have a Christmas tree without the star on top. You gotta have that <laughs> star on top, baby. <laughs> Miss Sandy. Name a Christmas decoration nudists might put on themselves at Christmas time. I say garland. Garland. <laughs> garland. <laughs> it's my favorite holiday. One answer left, Michael. You can clear the board. Only one strike. Christmas decoration the nudists might put on themselves. That artificial snow, that flocking. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. Some flocking, some snow. All right, Kev, we got one answer left. Two strikes, Angel family can steal. Name a Christmas decoration nudists might put on themselves. The cone, the cone, that's a... 
Oh, the pine cone. Pine cone. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Woo, Lord have mercy. I didn't know what the hell you was talking about. Not ice cone. I said, what the hell is we talking about ice cream for? <laughs> the cones. Oh. Name the Christmas decoration looters might put on themselves at Christmas time. Bells. Bells. Number four. <laughs> Mrs. Claus told Santa she was leaving him because she can't take what anymore? The cold. Can't take the cold no more. <laughs> that, nice. The elves. The elves. Tired of them elves. We're gonna play, Steve. We're gonna play. Big Lowe's Miss Claus told Santa she was leaving because she can't take what no more? His late hours. Can't take them late hours. <laughs> Miss Mickey, yes. Miss Claus told Santa she was leaving him because she can't take what anymore? Can't take them deers anymore. Can't take them deers. <laughs> Ray Jr. Yes, sir. Miss Claus told Santa she was leaving here because she can't take what anymore? It's uh, his weight. Can't take his weight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mr. Ray, how you doing, sir? All right, I'm doing good. Mrs. Claus told Santa she was leaving here because she can't take what anymore? Making the toys. She tired of making toys. <laughs> <laughs> That was a good answer, though. That was a good answer. We got two strikes. We got to be careful. Miss Claus told Santa she was leaving because she can't take what anymore? His snoring. His snoring. <laughs> uh, all right, family, let's go. Miss Claus told Santa she was leaving her because she can't take what anymore? Uh, no sex, Steve. No sex. <laughs> Y'all, who said Santa Claus? No sex. You know, maybe, you know, maybe I, you know, wasn't reading all of the stories, but where in the Santa Claus stories <laughs> did we discover that Santa Claus snored or was <laughs> suffering from erectile dysfunction? <laughs> What part of the Christmas story did I miss? <laughs> Number seven. <laughs> Number six. Two. Your neighbor has a better Christmas light display than you. What are you gonna do about it? Marilyn. Buy more lights. Buy more lights. Uh, a bigger Christmas tree. A bigger, bigger Christmas tree. Let's go. Tyler, Fast Money King. Yes, sir. Yeah. Y'all went out there and won that money, man. All right, Tyler. Your neighbor has a better Christmas light display than you. What are you going to do about it? I think I'm going to unplug some of their lights. Yes. Put it. Go unplug some lights. Uh, all right, Amy. Your neighbor has a better Christmas light display than you. What are you going to do about it? Well, I love Christmas, and it'd be hard to beat mine, so I would congratulate them. Congratulate them. Yeah. Yeah. Wayne, how you feeling today, man? Doing great, buddy. Doing great. Looking sharp, man. Your neighbor's got a better Christmas light display than you. What are you going to do about it? I think I'm going to sneak over there at night and take them down. Sneak over there at night and take them down. Me and Wayne could have been homies. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Sandy, your neighbor has a better Christmas light display than you. What you gonna do about it? Nothing. Nothing. (laughs) (laughs) 
Marilyn, how are you today? I'm doing great. All right, only one strike. Your neighbor's got a better Christmas light display than you. What you gonna do about it? I might just move. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be so yeah. embarrassed. It's <laughs> a good answer. That's a good answer. That's a good answer. All you gotta do is hang in there for two weeks. Move. Man. You're a real hater. If you, if you move cause of some life, you're a real hater, man. All right, Tyler, we got two strikes. You got to be careful. Simon family can steal. Your neighbor has a better Christmas light display than you. What are you going to do about it? I hate the people that do this, but the people that complain to my mm -hmm. HOA. <laughs> complain to the HO. There's too much light. Oh. All right, ladies, your neighbor has a better Christmas light display than okay. you. What are you going to do about it? All right. Okay, Steve. We would hire a celebrity Santa Claus. Santa! Yes, come over to the house. Santa Claus. They'll have the lights, but we'll have Santa. A celebrity Santa Claus. <laughs> Look, Santa Claus, period. We're gonna hire a celebrity Santa Claus. <laughs> Number six. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Number five. <laughs> Name something the mischievous elves did to Santa while he was sleeping. <laughs> Chances. I would say they, like, wrapped him up in wrapping paper. Wrapped him up in wrapping paper. <laughs> Cut his beard. Cut his beard. I got you. Man. You know, when y'all turn around and walk off, I already know what that is. <laughs> Unique, how you doing? I'm good. How are you? All right, let's go. Name something the mischievous elves did to Santa while he was sleeping. I'm going to say they ate his milk and cookies. Ate his milk and cookies. <laughs> Henderson, yes, sir. name something the mischievous elves did to Santa while he was sleeping. Well, I think they would hide the keys to the sleigh. Hide yeah, the I keys to the sleigh. Yeah. Oh. All right. I'm gonna say something <laughs> off the wall. <laughs> <laughs> I already know that. Yeah. <laughs> Please let me tell you something. Don't let me down. Oh, yeah. I came down here for ignorance. <laughs> Name something the mischievous L did to Santa while he was sleeping. I'm gonna say killed him. Oh, oh, the good I don't know. Know. <laughs> How they to murder Santa Claus? You going to jail with them little elves? Miss <laughs> uh. Kanita, yes. name something the mischievous L's did to Santa while he was sleeping. Delivered the gifts. They delivered the gifts. <laughs> Aww. All right, we got two strikes. We got to be careful now, Henderson. Hollingsworth family can steal. Some of them elves did to Santa while he was sleeping. Ran off with the reindeer. Ran off with the reindeer. Aww. All right, ladies, here we go. Name something the elves, did, mischievous elves, did to Santa while he was sleeping. Slept with Mrs. Claus. <laughs> That's why they, that, that's why they killed Sam. That's why they killed him right there. Trying to get at Miss Claus. I was, I'm ashamed of both of these families. <laughs> Slept with Mrs. Claus. That was a good answer. No, it wasn't. <laughs> Number seven. A little bit different from killing him, ain't it? <laughs> Six. Hands in warm water. 
four. What does Santa do when he returns to the North Pole Christmas morning? Junior. Eat breakfast. Eat breakfast. Kiss Mrs. Claus. Kiss Mrs. Claus. Play. All right, we play. <laughs> Ephraim, yes. what does Santa do when he returns to the North Pole Christmas morning? Changes his clothes. Changes his clothes. <laughs> Mariah, what does Santa do when he returns to the North Pole Christmas morning? He goes right to bed. Goes he to goes sleep. right to bed. <laughs> He's tired. Exactly. What does Santa do when he returns to the North Pole Christmas morning? Opens gifts with his family, Steve. He opens Ooh. gifts yeah. with his family. Yeah. Kingsley, we got two strikes, brother. If it's there, your family wins the game. But if it's not there, the other family mm. can steal and they will win the game, Kingsley. What does Santa do when he returns to the North Pole Christmas morning? He parks Rudolph and the reindeers. He parks Rudolph and the reindeers for the win. <laughs> well, family, here's the situation. I got one answer, one answer only. If it's there, your family steals. Your family wins the game. But if it's not there, the other family wins the game. One answer. Decides it all. Here we go. What does Santa do when he returns to the North Pole Christmas morning? He get ready for next Christmas. He starts getting ready for next Christmas. kind of music to listen to when you have a hangover? Christmas music? <laughs> hey, y'all, oh, after all right. Good answer, good answer, good answer. I don't hate it. Christmas music. They know what you mean that. It's up there. Christmas music? <laughs> Who's pissed off at Christmas music? <laughs> what are you, the Grinch? <laughs> Christmas music. Christmas music. <laughs> oh no, it's Christmas Eve, and you forgot to get a present for who? Your parents. Your parents. My kids. My kids. Oh. <laughs> Pass or play. Play, play. We're gonna play. We're gonna play. Steve. We're gonna play. Fred, oh no, Christmas Eve, you forgot to get a present for who? They made. <laughs> made. <laughs> the maid! <laughs> <laughs> well, it's Christmas Eve and you forgot to get a present for who? Your wife or your husband? Your wife, your spouse! <laughs> Hey, Jill, it's Christmas Eve and you forgot to get a gift for who? Well, I would say my sister. Your sister! Yeah. Come on, family, we got two stripes. We gotta be careful now. If it's there, we're still alive. If it's not there, the other family can steal and win. My grandparents. Your grandparents! <laughs> Well, here's the deal, folks. Two answers on the board. You give me either one of those answers, your family steals, your family wins the game. But if it's not there, the Forbes family gets a chance to play sudden death. Renee, oh no, it's Christmas Eve and you forgot to get a present for who? Pet. Yo, pet. <laughs> good answer, good answer. Your pet. Number 
three. Name somewhere Santa hides his stash of marijuana. In the sleigh. In the sleigh. Pass the point. Steve. Beautiful play. Introduce your family, Cindy. Okay, Uncle Steve. I have my beautiful and very smart daughter, Alexandria. I have my very funny and handsome husband, Michael. I have my tall and handsome son, Avery. And my very beautiful and smart daughter on the end, Danielle. Welcome to the show, everybody. All right, Alex. Give me some where Santa hides his stash of marijuana. In his pants pocket. In the pants pocket. Oh. Michael, give me somewhere Santa hides his stash of marijuana. How about in his beard, Steve? In his yeah. beard. Yeah. 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 Give me a place Santa hides his marijuana. I'm gonna say under his hat, Steve. Under the hat. Danielle, give me somewhere Santa hides his marijuana. What about in his sack of toys? In his sack of toys. In his sack of toys. Cindy, give me somewhere Santa hides his marijuana. In his shoe. In his shoe. (laughs) Alex, we got two strikes. You got to be careful the other family can steal. Give me a place Santa hides his marijuana. I'm gonna say with one of the reindeers. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Good answer. Yeah. 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 It's up there. Rudolph had a red nose for a reason. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, good thing you said that, because I was going I was gonna ask you where is he putting his marijuana in him. <laughs> with one of the reindeer. Michael, two strikes, other family can steal. Give me a place Santa hides his marijuana. How about in that pipe? In the pipe. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, if it's in the pipe, you ain't hiding it no more. <laughs> in the pipe. Oh. All right, family, give me somewhere Santa hides his stash of marijuana. At the North Pole. At the North Pole. (laughs) Number six. Five. Wow. Name a place you'd hate to be on Christmas Day. Laura. The airport. The airport. Hospital. Hospital. We're gonna play. Hey, Lori, give me a place you'd hate to be on Christmas Day. At the in laws. Be daughter in law the year. That's for damn sure. <laughs> in laws. <laughs> hey, Gabby, tell me a place you'd hate to be on Christmas Day. I would hate to be at work, Steve. At work. <laughs> <laughs> on the street corner. Street corner. Ileana, give me yes, a place sir. you'd hate to be on Christmas Day. I would hate to be in jail. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. In jail. Jay, no strikes. Give me a place you'd hate to be on Christmas Day. Well, I've been here a few times. I'm going to say the mall. Yeah. In the mall. One answer left. We can clear the board, Lord. No strikes. Place you'd hate to be on Christmas Day. I would hate to be at school, Steve. 
Good answer. Good answer. At school. Oh. Lori, one answer left. Place you'd hate to be on Christmas Day. I would hate to be stuck in traffic. Oh. That was a pretty good answer. I like that. that That's a pretty good true. guess. Pretty good guess. One answer left, two strikes. Lewandowski family can steal. Gabby, place you'd hate to be on Christmas Day. What about alone in like a hotel room, Steve? Yeah. Oh. Alone. Oh. All right, family, name a place you'd hate to be on Christmas Day. Away from your family. Away from your family. Five. I knew y'all weren't gonna say that, but I knew it. I said, man. Oh, man. Name something a wife might want for Christmas that starts with the letter D. Designer bag. Designer bag. A dog. A dog. Yes. Yeah. We're gonna, we're gonna pass. We're gonna pass. We're passing. Yep. We're gonna pass. Can you name something a wife might want for Christmas that starts with the letter D? Diamonds. Yeah. Diamonds. Yeah. Taisha, name something a wife might want for Christmas that starts with the letter D. I'm gonna say designer shoes. Designer shoes. <laughs> All right, Kennedy, we got one strike now. Name something a wife might want for Christmas that starts with the letter D. I'm gonna say dental surgery. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Dental surgery! <laughs> Ladies, you got to slow it down. Now, listen to me. We got two answers on the board. If it's there, you're still alive. But if it's not there, the other family can steal and place sudden death. Uh... I don't know. I don't know. Well, team, listen to me. I got two answers on the board. If it's not there, the other family will win oh. the game. Leah, name something a wife might want for Christmas that starts with the letter D. A sexy new dress, Steve. Yes. A dress. Number two. If Santa Claus upgraded to a jet, what would he do with his reindeer? Miss Cindy. Fire them. Fire them. Yeah. Pass the point. Anthony, if Santa Claus upgraded to a jet, what would you do with the reindeer? I guess barbecue them. Good, 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 good eating. Good eating. Good answer, Dad. Anthony said, that's, that's good eating. <laughs> Barbecue. Yeah. All right. Aunt? Uh. <laughs> yeah, man, just stare at somebody else. I don't know. <laughs> 
<laughs> and if Santa Claus upgraded to a jet, what would he do with his reindeer? Uh, they're giving out pony rides now, Steve. They're giving out pony rides. All right, all right. Vontae, yeah. yeah. well, I know you probably got a question about this, so we're talking about Santa Claus now. <laughs> That's it. If Santa Claus upgraded to a jet, what would he do with his reindeer? Take him to go to the grocery store. Good answer, good answer, good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Come on. Come on, we're going to the store. <laughs> Take him to the, go down to the store. <laughs> we only got one strike, Andrea. So if Santa Claus upgraded to a jet, mm -hmm. what would he do with his reindeer? Give them as gifts. Give them as gifts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right, Miss Cindy, we got two strikes. We got to be careful now. The Shook family can steal. If Santa Claus upgraded to a jet, what would he do with his reindeer? Sell them. Sell them. Yeah. 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 All right, Anthony, we got two strikes. Shook family can steal. Santa Claus upgraded to a jet. What would he do with his reindeer? Use them as pets. Use them as pets. <laughs> Use them as pets. Now, we only got one answer left. <laughs> if Santa Claus upgraded to a jet, what would he do with his reindeer, Ant? Uh, he made them. Made them. Good made answer. Breathe. Yeah. Oh, breathe. Oh, oh. Yeah. oh, breed them. <laughs> breed them. Made them. <laughs> If Santa Claus upgraded to a jet, what would he do with his reindeer? He's gonna take them with him on the jet. Take them with him on the jet. Wow. <laughs> we asked 100 married men, what do you want for Christmas that you know your wife won't give you? A car. A car. Hey, Davina, we ask 100 married men, what do you want for Christmas you know your wife won't give you? I'm gonna say beer. Yeah. Beer. Yeah. All right, listen to the question carefully. Cynthia, 100 married men, what do you want for Christmas that you know your wife won't give you? A new gaming system. Good answer. Yeah. A new gaming system. All right, Greg, this ought to be interesting. We got two strikes the Jimmy Olo family could steal. Uh, talk to 100 married men. What do you want for Christmas you know your wife won't give you? New tools. Yeah. Good answer. Good answer. New tools. Oh. All right, family, we asked 100 married men, what do you want for Christmas that you know your wife won't give you? Sex. Yeah. Sex! Yeah. Number six. More allowance. <laughs> Five. Silence. Four. Big screen TV. Three. Santa Claus said, I don't clean my blank. I have the elves do that. Slate. Slate. Yeah. 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 Brittany, fill in the blank. Santa Claus said, I don't clean my blank. I got the elves to do that. His workshop. His workshop. Hey, Brooke, 
Santa Claus said, I don't clean my blank. I got the elves to do that. His, like, Santa suit? His outfit? Oh, his Santa yeah. suit. <laughs> Brianne, Santa Claus said, I don't clean my blank. I have the elves do it. My beard? My Get beard. Get some cookies on there. Tony. Santa Claus said, I don't clean my blank. I have the L's do it. My reindeer. Reindeer. <laughs> Miss Kelly, we cleared the board. One answer left. Santa Claus said, I don't clean my blank. I got the L's to do it. How about his sack with all his toys? Like his, um, the thing that he carries over? The sack. Yeah, yeah. The sack. <laughs> Only one strike, Brittany. One answer left. Santa Claus said, I don't clean my blank. I got the elves to do it. Mrs. Claus? Yes! Yeah. You're not... <laughs> You're not bathing my wife, homie. <laughs> you take that little smile off your damn face. <sighs> Mrs. Claus! Oh. Brooke, one answer left, but this time we got two strikes. The other family can steal. Santa Claus said, I don't clean my blank. I got the elves to do it. Office. Office! Oh. Fill in the blank. Santa Claus said, I don't clean my blank. I have the elves do it. House. I don't clean my house. Name something that Santa Claus might say was the hardest part of his job. Kavika. Eating all the cookies. Eating all the cookies. Delivering toys. Delivering toys. Okay, Tasha, name something Santa Claus might say was the hardest part of his job. Coming down the chimney. Coming down the chimney. <laughs> Kendall, name something Santa Claus might say was the hardest part of his job. Staying away from his wife. <laughs> Staying away from his wife. <laughs> Brock, we only got one strike. Name something Santa Claus might say was the hardest part of his job. Taking care of the reindeer. Taking care of the reindeer. <laughs> Toya, sixth grade math teacher. Name something Santa Claus might say was the hardest part of his job. Um, choosing the naughty kids. <laughs> choosing the naughty kids. Shalonda, name something that Santa Claus might say was the hardest part of his job. Being jolly all the time. <laughs> Tired of being happy all the time. Oh. All right, Tasha, we got two strikes the Sanborn oh, family can it. steal. Name it. something Santa Claus might say was the hardest part of his job. Staying away from the ho-ho-hos. <laughs> Staying away from the ho ho hoes. <laughs> Name something that Santa Claus might say was the hardest part of his job. Managing the elves. Managing the elves. Name a place you'd be surprised to hear that Santa met Mrs. Claus. David. Hawaii. Hawaii. (laughs) 
The bar. The bar. <laughs> the bar. Yeah. JL, name a place you'd be surprised to hear Santa met Mrs. Claus. A strip club, Steve. At the strip club. (laughs) Got one answer left, Miss Nancy. If it's there, your family wins the game. But if it's not there, you're still alive, no strikes. Give me a place you'd be surprised to hear Santa met Miss Claus. At the whorehouse. Answer left. Uh, if it's there, your family wins the game. But if it's not there, you're still alive. Name a place you'd be surprised to hear that Santa met Mrs. Claus. Steve, I'm going to say at the mall. <laughs> this is for the win. At the mall. <laughs> Cole, we got two strikes. <laughs> if it's there, your family wins the game. But if it's not there, the other family can steal and win, Nicole. Name a place you'd be surprised to hear that Santa met Mrs. Claus. At a sports game. This is for the win. At a sports game. <laughs> Family, we have an issue. I only got one answer left. But the issue solves itself. If you give me that answer, your family steals. Your family wins the game. But if it's not there, the other family wins the game. This is down to just one answer. Does it all? Here we go. Name a place you'd be surprised to hear that Santa met Mrs. Claus. Online dating. Wow. Wow. Online dating. That was a really, really good answer, man. That was a good answer, man. Boy, that was that was a really good answer. I kid you not. Number four. When Santa got divorced, he tried to impress women by telling them, hey, want to see my blank? Brian. My sleigh. My sleigh. (laughs) Emily, when Santa got, you must match exactly, family. When Santa got divorced, he tried to impress women by telling them, hey, you want to see my blank? My workshop, Steve. My workshop. (laughs) Garrison, when Santa got divorced, he tried to impress women by telling them, hey, want to see my blank? Sack. I like where you tried to throw it over your shoulder. <laughs> Won't see my sack. <laughs> MG, when Santa got divorced, he tried to impress women by telling them, hey, want to see my blank? Um, my reindeer? My reindeer. <laughs> Miss Faye, uh, when Santa got divorced, he tried to impress women by telling them, hey, you want to see my blank? Santa suit. (laughs) My Santa suit. (laughs) All right, Brian, only one strike. When Santa got divorced, he tried to impress women by telling them, hey, you want to see my blank? All of my elves. You want to see my elves? Emily, Emily, 
When Santa got divorced, he tried to impress women by telling them, hey, want to see my blank? My North Pole? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> want to see my North Pole? <laughs> One answer left, Garrison. You can clear the board. Only one strike, though. When Santa got divorced, he tried to impress women by telling them, hey, you want to see my blank? <laughs> Toys is already up there. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> one answer left, MG. We can clear it, but we got two strikes. The Carter family could steal. When Santa got divorced, he tried to impress women by telling them, hey, you want to see my blank? Um, cookies? Want to see my cookies? <laughs> All right, guys, you must match exactly when Santa got divorced. He tried to impress women by telling them, hey, want to see my blank? Jingle bells. Jingle bells. You want to see my jingle bells? (laughs) Number five. Who would Steve Harvey be in the church nativity play? Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Good answer. Good answer. You're going to be so disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Oh. And they knew it too. <laughs> Joseph. Joseph. Mario, who would Steve Harvey be in the church nativity play? One of the wise men. Oh. One of the wise men. Oh. That's a good answer. Yeah, I like that. One of the wise men. Like yeah. All right, Janae, with your little fine self, <laughs> who would Steve Harvey be in the church nativity play? I'm sorry, Steve, but the donkey. Yes! Yeah. <laughs> the donkey. The donkey. Did you hear to just say I was a wise man? D- them was camels. What is you talking about? I'm the donkey. See, they had to get there somewhere. But see, but that ain't gonna be up there. It better not. The, the donkey. One answer left. You can clear the board. Who would Steve Harvey be in the church nativity play? I'm going to say the innkeeper. Innkeeper. Oh. All right. All right. Yeah. Good answer. Good answer. All right. All right. All right. All right. Where Where is? Yes. Only one answer left. Only one strike. We're doing real good. Who would Steve Harvey be in the church nativity play? Maybe one of the angels. An angel? An angel. Oh, oh, oh. One answer left. We got two strikes. The Diaz de Leon family can steal. I'm going to say Mary. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you got a better shot of me being that donkey, dog. <laughs> Ma- Mary! Oh. All right, guys, let's go. Who would Steve Harvey be in the church nativity play? Okay. The star, the guiding star. The star in the sky that leads them. The star! Number five. Name the first thing Grandpa did when Grandma got run over by a reindeer. Lori. Cheer. He cheered. He cheered. Cry. Cry. He's gonna play. Hey, Sydney, that's the first thing Grandpa did when Grandma got run over by a reindeer. He had a drink. 
He had a drink. <laughs> Chuck, name the first thing that uh, Grandpa did when Grandma got run over by a reindeer. Maybe called his girlfriend. Number four is still up there. And it will probably be... Oh, you think that's number four? (laughs) Yeah, yeah. I got... Let me tell you something. You think four is up there now, and after we get through, it'll still be up there. (laughs) Matter of fact, four, five, and six ain't got a shot of getting flipped over right now, partner. And Grandpa called his girlfriend. Come on. Hey, Mike, name first thing Grandpa did when Grandma got run over by reindeer. I think he went over and tried to help her. Went over and tried oh, to help her. There you go. There you go. Hey, Jim, first thing Grandpa did when Grandma got run over by a reindeer. So this is different than Chuck's, I think. Maybe he called his family, called his kids. Okay. Not his girlfriend, his kids. <laughs> Call the kids. Oh. Lori, two strikes, other family can steal. Give me the first thing Grandpa did when Grandma got run over by reindeer. Okay, so maybe he sang some Christmas carols? (laughs) 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 Y'all ready? He started singing Christmas carols. Name the first thing Grandpa did when Grandma got run over by a reindeer. Well, he's going to call the insurance company because I'm sure Santa's going to have a lot of money for that claim. (laughs) Call the insurance company. (laughs) Number five. If they got desperate, Name something Santa Claus and Mrs. Claus might burn to stay warm at the North... Jill. The sleigh. The sleigh. (laughs) If they got desperate, name something Santa Claus and Mrs. Claus might burn to stay warm at the North Pole. Their clothes. Their clothes. Hey, uh, Lisa, I know you're a school teacher and everything, but if the whole goal is to stay warm, it... (laughs) 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 Kira? Yeah. Did I get it? Yeah. Got it. Okay, good. Uh, Name something Santa Claus and Miss Claus might burn to stay warm at the North Pole. The toys. Yeah. Yes, right <laughs> Hey, Hannah, name something they might Santa Claus near burn to stay warm at the North Pole. I'm gonna say the elves. Burn the elves up. (laughs) Huck, something Santa Claus might burn to stay warm at the North Pole. The reindeer. Burn up the reindeer. Sean, something Santa Claus might burn to stay warm at the North Pole. The Christmas trees. The Christmas trees. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Jill, something Santa Claus might burn to stay warm at the North Pole. How about their furniture? Burn their furniture. <laughs> hey, Kira, uh, something Santa Claus might burn to stay warm at the North Pole. The wrapping paper. Wrapping paper. Yay! Hannah, we rolling. We rolling. <laughs> we are. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Some Santa Claus might burn to stay warm at the North Pole. His bag. The bag. <laughs> we All right, we got no two more. strikes now. We got to be careful, Huck. The Shattuck family can steal some Santa Claus might burn to stay warm at the North Pole. The coal. Oh. The coal. The coal. Oh, good one. Burn the coal. Yeah. Oh, All right, 
Jeremy, just for time, something Santa Claus, Miss Claus might burn to stay warm at the North Pole. The toy shop. Burn up the toy shop. Seven. Name something bad Santa might have in his sack instead of presents. Tanisha. Cold, Steve. Cold. We're gonna play, Steve. We're gonna play. Tizana? Yes. Name something bad Santa might have in his sack instead of presents. I'm gonna say alcohol. Alcohol. <laughs> hey, Big Sean, something bad son of might have in his sack. That Mary Jane, marijuana. Marijuana. <laughs> hey, Sean, something bad son of might have in his sack. I'm sorry to have to bring it to sex again, but I'm gonna say condoms. Yeah, well, that's okay. <laughs> Yeah. It ain't that you hate to have to bring it back to sex. Is that's all that's on your young ass mind right now? <laughs> Condoms. <laughs> okay. Name something bad Santa might have in his sack instead of presents. Um, porn magazines. Porn magazines. <laughs> Name something bad Santa might have in his sack instead of presents. A weapon. A yes. weapon. Yes. Good answer. Uh, you got two strikes. Be careful. Name something that bad Santa might have in his sack instead of presents. I'm gonna say cigarettes. Cigarettes. Oh, that's a good answer. Big Sean, we got two strikes. Got to be careful. Name something bad Santa might have in his sack instead of presents. Well, this is a little strong answer, but uh, his side piece. Good answer. <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> like father, like son. <laughs> his side piece. <laughs> Name something bad Santa might have in his sack instead of presents. Steve, I'm gonna say a sex toy. Oh! oh. A sex toy! <laughs> Number six. <laughs> Name something men put in their beard to decorate it for Christmas. Tanisha. Light, Steve. Light. Yeah. We're playing, Steve. Tizana, something yeah. me and putting their beers are decorated for Christmas. I'm gonna say glitter. Glitter. Yeah. Yeah. Big Sean, something that me and putting their beers are decorated for Christmas. Ornaments. Yeah. Ornaments. Yeah. Sean, name something men put in their beard to decorate it for Christmas. Uh, put fake snow in it. Good put answer. fake Good snow answer. in it. <laughs> Santia. Yes. Something men put in their beards to decorate it for Christmas. Garland. <laughs> Garland. <laughs> Tynesha, we gotta be careful. We got two strikes. Logan family can steal. Give me something men putting their beers and decorated for Christmas. Tinsel, Steve. Tinsel. <laughs> Ty? Yes. Name something men put in their beard to decorate it for Christmas. I'm gonna say maybe a candy cane. Good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Good. Good. Listen to me. Say it with a little more confidence. Okay. <laughs> because, you know, look, even when she got a good answer, it's so timid. <laughs> oh, oh, so. 
Say candy cane. Even her brother said, damn, say it was some confidence. <laughs> right. What's your answer again? Candy cane. Candy, 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 candy cane. Candy. Oh, it barely got in. <laughs> but it got in. It's, it's got five people said it, and this is the <laughs> fifth game. That's my lucky number, I see. Lucky, your number, yeah. lucky is five. <laughs> well, that's good. It's up there, though. It is up there. That might, be, that might get a car. Yes, yes. You never know. Right. Big Sean, we got two strikes. Logan family can steal. Give me something men putting their beard to decorate it for Christmas. Color it like they color their beard white. They color it. Yeah, right. Color it. Sean, we got two strikes. We got to be careful. Logan family can steal. Name something men put in their beard to decorate it for Christmas. I'm going to go with Cole. Cole! All right, family, here's your chance. Name something men put in their beard to decorate it for Christmas. A bow. A bow! What might you do if your boss hit on your wife at the office Christmas party? See ya. Call him out. Call him out. Punch him. Punch him. Dead in the face. We gonna play. All right, ladies, now I'm gonna just say this once. We asked 100 married men. This is for married men. Tanya, what might you do if your boss hit on your wife at the office Christmas party? Probably find another job, Steve. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. Gonna have to. I'm gonna have to find another job. I won't be working Good here anymore. Good answer. Find another job. What might you do if your boss hit on your wife at the office Christmas party? Oh, I'm taking him to HR, Steve. We're going to keep Taking him to HR. Yeah. Yeah. Gloria, what might you do if your boss hit on your wife at the office Christmas party? Come on, we got it. I would... I don't know what I would do. <laughs> Gosh. Sorry, right, sorry. We got, we got one strike. Lisa, we talked to 100 married men. What might you do if your boss hit on your wife at the office Christmas party? I would tell my boss. Good answer! Good answer! Good answer! Good answer! Good answer! Good answer! I'm just going to tell my boss that he's hitting on my wife and you to my boss. And he tell tell the boss. It's up there. It's up there. Uh, I love the constant encouragement in chat. <laughs> it's up there, Steve. It's up there. That's all right. It's up there. That's all right. <laughs> Two strikes Bruce family can steal. Okay. What might you do if your boss hit on your wife at the office Christmas party? Talk about it with my coworkers. Talk about it with your coworkers. One hundred married men. What might you do if your boss hit on your wife at the office Christmas party? I throw a drink on him, Steve. Throw a drink yeah. on him. <laughs> Number eight. <laughs> Five. Four. Man Three. Leave the party. Name someone Santa would bring to therapy with him. Mrs. Claus. That's right. She's probably the reason he's there in the first place. Might as well bring the reason we're in therapy. Mrs. Claus. 
Rudolph. Rudolph. Hey, hey, hey. We don't play. Hey, hey, hey. hey Crystal. Hello. Name some little happy teacher you. <laughs> name someone Santa would bring to therapy with him. Candy canes. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. You know, you're stressed. <laughs> Candy canes. <laughs> Kevin, someone Santa would bring to therapy with him. Well, if the room is big enough, Steve, let's go with some elves. Yeah. Let's bring all the elves in. <laughs> Name someone Santa would bring to therapy with him. Some hard-headed chillins. <laughs> Good yes. That's right. Hard-headed chillins. That's children. Y'all know y'all threw y'all off. Chillins is children. Chillins. I, she just went. <laughs> Children, I got this. I'm translate for you. I got it. <laughs> Chil children, children. Oh, oh. All right, we got two strikes now, Queen. A toy maker. A toy maker. <laughs> A toy maker. Someone Santa would bring to therapy with him. Steve, we're representing him today, the Grinch. Oh, all the green. Yeah. Wow, that's a clever answer. Grinch! <laughs> Four. How Santa might reward the elves the day after Christmas. Larry. Vacation. Vacation. Yeah, we playing, Steve. All right, here we go. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Leslie, tell me how Santa might reward the elves the day after Christmas. Uh, gifts. Woo! Give them yes. gifts. Tell me how Santa might reward the elves the day after Christmas. A celebration party. A hey. party. Hey. Woo! Hey, La <laughs> Lori. Nice. <laughs> that is not right. <laughs> Tell me how Santa might reward the elves the day after Christmas. A ride on his sleigh. Woo! A ride on his sleigh. Santa might reward the elves the day after Christmas. A promotion, Steve. A promotion. A promotion. Trying to get the elves a promotion. <laughs> hey, Larry, we got two strikes, man. We got to slow it down. Now, Chevy's family can steal. Tell me how Santa might reward the elves day after Christmas. Their own reindeer. <laughs> Don't give them their own reindeer. Where, where is these other reindeers coming from? <laughs> Do y'all know the story, man? <laughs> Damn. They they they, to get a, get a free uh, reindeer. You got it, you got yeah. it. Yeah. All right, guys, tell me how Santa might reward the elves a day after Christmas. Buy them a drink. Buy them a drink. Five. You are we. Four. Three. 